All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of the Up and In Show. We are downtown in our downtown studio. It's a little warm in here, but um, so thank you for coming, um, Teresa. This is, um, we're in between places right now. We've, I've done this at my shop a few times, but now we're downtown making a home here. Um, so bear with us. Thank you for your time. I got a special guest with me here, Teresa Plaisant. Plaisance. Plaisance, yeah. That Plaisance. Was great. Not, what, there you, we go. That was good. Okay, that was good. But you were making fun of me before. I know. Or, uh, or other people that they other go people hard just on it. Put so much zest, like yeah. Plaisance. And I said it great the first time, too. Right. And that's, and then I got all the pressure on me then because. The pressure of definitely. Of you saying that people out. say it big time. And right. I was like, fuck. But you nailed it. To be clear, he did plaisance. nail it the first time out. Like Plaisance. plaisance. There you go. Plaisance. Killed it. Okay, cool. What's, so what's the background on that last name? So my my dad's side is from France and my my mom's side's from Spain, nice. and my grandpa and grandma on my dad's side actually used to speak a little like Creole French and stuff like that. Yeah, I dope. speak nothing, <laughs> absolutely you bring nothing. nothing to the table. No, besides sarcasm, <laughs> yeah. I have a little bit of that. Oh, no, you bag. are definitely fluent in that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's great. Of yeah. course, um, but you know, my family lives on the West Bank of New Orleans. That's where we have always resided. Um, <laughs> And I actually currently still live there. Abby's in the, in the background, season. right? Throwing up the signs like you guys. Yeah. West Bank baby, <laughs> Unbelie- unbelievable here. <laughs> Are you hating on the West Bank? Huh? No, 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 no. Everybody I've does. only been like once or twice, so I cannot okay. hate unless I've like been there, lived it, experienced it. So True. I have not. I've only gone to a golf tournament out there, okay. and then to G- like GLS. Is there a classic? No. Oh wait, never mind. Where's Abby? So. I'm trying to think West Bank. So I went to a golf tournament over the bridge. Is that the West Bank? Yeah, that's okay. So then that's the second time that I was there. For then. sure. Okay, so and then GLS. But it wasn't it wasn't the Zurich. It was like a fundraiser for her mom that she was putting on for her Very like cool. work and all that stuff. So yeah, haven't experienced it. You guys got to take me out. Got to show me around. I mean, maybe not out, but you can't like be <laughs> yeah. West Bank isn't like the out. We typically go over the bridge for right, that. Right, right, right. And I will say that whenever like friends from out of town come in town, I'm like. Yeah, you're going to the West Bank. They're like, ooh, that sounds great. I'm like, in your eyes, don't say that to like a New Orleanian because <laughs> they will like lose respect for you instantly. I feel like people say that all the time. They're like, all ooh, the sorry. I'm like, what? what's wrong yeah, with the West the Bank? Yeah, the West Bank never, is yeah. where it's at. Okay. Yeah. No traffic. Yeah, definitely. That's, well, it's chill. My experience had traffic over going back oh, over the, the bridge, bridge after yeah, the yeah, bridge. after the tournament. It was pretty miserable. If you yeah. just stay on the West Bank, though. Oh, it's good. There's about nothing. About yeah. Okay, cool. You yeah. can hop in and out of the busyness, you can get to the city in five minutes. Look at us trying to sell the West Bank right now. The West <laughs> Bank is where it's at, y'all. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I already went twice, so I'm down, but I want to go to some restaurants. I want to try the yeah. food. You got to take me to some, some of your places. We're going to go to West Bank's Finest. Okay, cool. We're going to tap it. in. West Bank's Finest. <laughs> We're going to tap yeah. in. Well, anyway, um, yeah, so give you, give uh, our listeners a little background on who you are. Obviously, we kind of uh, tease it a little bit, but WNBA player, played basketball at LSU. You've played overseas. Um, really cool journey, and I'm excited to catch up on things you're doing now, too, because yeah. you got a lot of cool shit going on. But why don't you give our listeners a one-minute rundown what you do? So I was born and raised in New Orleans, um, went to high school in New Orleans, went straight to LSU. I was a highly recruited kid, but LSU was my pride and joy. I just always wanted to go there through my whole life. Um, what year? So you came in 2010? 2010 to 10? 2014. Yeah, okay. So that was right when I was leaving. So we crossed paths yeah, we like crossed a year. Paths. I, yeah, yeah. I saw all your success, though. Like, you were like <laughs> that guy. Well, we actually you. had a class together. Yeah, we did. Mass um, Com. Mass Com, Mass Com. Was it in the big... Uh, in the yeah. auditorium yeah, where you yeah. had to have your clicker? Yep, yep. But you didn't even have to get it right. You just had to, like, click in and you got your credit. That's it, yeah. Exactly. That was all you needed. Yeah, it was good enough. That's it. So, Simple times, Ma. You don't know what that's like, probably. No. <laughs> Y'all don't have clickers anymore? <laughs> the world's changed. It's, that was... T- they probably have like bugs on your backpack now where they're so, like yeah exactly that's exactly what it is it's like bluetooth you walk in they have a chip in your skin or right. something it's something crazy yeah, they like sprayed you down <laughs> yeah, exactly you have this like computer yeah, they know when you? you're in the yeah. building they just it's like in your dna i don't know even right know. Yeah. scary stuff yeah anyway sorry i cut you off yeah i got drafted i was the fifth to last pick really yeah wow. in 2014 uh third round right third, third round okay um I got drafted to the Tulsa Shock. I played on like five different teams. Um, won a championship with the Las Vegas say, Aces. Let's go, let's, let's go, go, baby. Champion, that's dope. Um, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, and then I played in like so <laughs> many different countries. Anything from like China to Turkey to Israel to Poland, Italy, Spain. Uh, Holy shit. Slovakia, Slovenia. Oh my God. France. 
tapped into a few countries. Yeah, just a few. Yeah. So you, I've seen different parts of the world. Your passport's got some stamps on it. Yeah. yeah I got yeah. tons of yeah, stamps. Yeah. yeah, so. yeah. Wow. A lot of wow. It's a big brag. Yeah, no, that's, it's like a thirty-plus brag. That's fucking badass. Yeah, I actually I love that. Like when I go to a new country, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, let's get that page turned. Right. Stamp me. Let's if go. If they don't give you a stamp, I'm like, why didn't I get yeah, my no, stamp? I need this it. Yeah, time. I need something. I need proof that I've been here. I need to show everybody. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I wow. like whip my passport out. I'm like, hey, everybody, let me tell you a few stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At a bar. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah. Just carry right. that thing around in your pocket all the time. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Did all right, you me, do some overseas life? I did, yeah. I did. Um, uh, I played in Korea for a year. How was Korea? It was awesome. I, I did not throw things. the baseball very well, so that was pretty much the only bad experience of it. But other than that, it was awesome. The people were great. The food was unbelievable. They yeah. treated me great. Um, so I can't can't complain. I just wish I would have performed better for the team. Cause, I hear that yeah. uh, Korea also has like really cool technology. Yes. Really clean place. Yes, very clean, yes. And everything's like really advanced. Yes, it is. I was, they were very, very advanced. I was out there in 2017 and there was just stuff that um, I hadn't seen before that then I was seeing a couple years later here in America. Right. It really, it was real, yeah. Um, and they took pride in that too. Like, And I guess them in Japan are very advanced in that kind of stuff yep. and they took pride in trying to be like faster than Japan and a lot right. of different things too. So, so Americans, yeah. humble yourselves. We we're get not, everything really late. Yeah, way late. So we just need to humble ourselves. Way late, yeah. What are give me top five power rankings countries? I won't make you say the the, the like number one, experience but. like basketball wise or like country Ooh, wise. Do both. Do both. Okay. Give me, give me experience first, and then say basketball wise. Give me top okay, five. excluding the WNBA. It's yeah. the best league in the world. I love that. I can't it's wait. really good. Really, all right. Let's and go. Especially let's this season, yeah, yeah. the past couple seasons, the I'm excited level is just that. elevated. Right. Let's go. Okay, China number one basketball really? wise. Yeah, that's dope. Turkey. Number like the two. league is just like the it's league is professional. Tough. It's oh, okay. It's the good. league is tough. Okay. When I was playing in China, there was one American per team, Damn, and man. everybody else was native, okay. right? Yeah. But everyone's like, "What were they like? Four feet tall? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Yeah. They are. <laughs> I played tall. against anybody from like the biggest player was like six eight to the biggest player on their team being like six eleven. Oh my god. Women. Women. Yeah. Holy shit. That are 6'11". I don't know if you could imagine that, but it's real life. It yeah. happens. No, it's still, it's like when you and I look eye to eye, I'm like, I'm like, it's still, it's not normal. You just it's, don't see it. So I can't imagine a 6'11 woman. Yeah, what, yeah and you're wild. just like, yeah. wow. Yeah. And you I know, don't. like being tall, when you look eye to eye with somebody already, it's like, it's so rare. So rare. Guy, guy or like female, like it doesn't matter. But then if you throw a female, you're like, whoa, this is even more of a different right. experience and everything. Yeah. This morning is crazy. I had this workout. I was working out with this kid. He's my height. Yeah. Kid. So how old? He's 18 or 19. Oh, wow. He's about okay. to play at BRCC. Nice, yeah. He's, he's really skilled. Nice. But all these little kids come in for summer camp, right? Yeah. And it's an all-boys school. I'm at Shaw, Archbishop yeah. Shaw, home of Ryan Clark. Nice. Um, That's cool. I'm about to walk out, and I'm walking out with him. We're the same height. Yeah. All the little kids were like, oh, my gosh, he's so tall. Not even acknowledging Chris. <laughs> like, it's only me. And like, all these kids were like, you're taller than my dad. You're this. You're that. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. But again, like, I think it was like just the female piece. Right. That Definitely. It was just because my brother, I have a little brother, yeah. a little brother. Yeah. He's 6'10". Oh, my God. So this kid's massive, right? And like, he's also a really fun guy. He'll walk around. And he's to the point now where you get it. Everyone's like, how tall are you? Right? Yeah. Right. If people like guess his height, he'll just say yeah. So it's like, <laughs> it what? What are you like six three? He's like yeah, and I'm yep. like Scotty, that's putting me in a predicament where I have to be like five eleven at that point. Yeah. Like it doesn't make <laughs> do sense for me, me yeah, to be yeah. six five now. Yeah. So we run into that a lot. That's freaking funny. How old? He's a younger brother, you said. So. He's four years younger than me. He's a uh, twenty eight now. Okay. He played ball too, or he just retired. He was playing overseas and in Canada, and he was playing during COVID and I think that was just, yeah, it's yeah. really hard to play through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was that. Um, yeah. But he's now coaching and doing really well that's and cool. training a bunch of, training me. That's dope, that was good. Yeah, it's dope I until think... he's like 6'10 and he's like tries to block your shot all the time. Yeah, that's not cool, yeah. And you're like, he's yeah, like, if you can obviously... score on me, then you can score on anybody. I'm like, that's <laughs> true. But like, let my shot go through realistically yeah. sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Let me at least get some visualization of the ball going in the exactly. net. Exactly. Yeah, let me show some like, confidence. Is my trainer, but also like the little brother. Absolutely, I was just gonna say. But there's probably there. a little trauma there. I'd imagine you were probably hard yeah. on him growing up. Maybe a little bit. I mean, 
I, so he's like, I'm somebody had to be tough on him. Uh, I get it. I get he's it. the I baby. Get it. I right? get it. I get it. I get it. Are so you, you have siblings. I got siblings, yeah. Oldest or younger? I'm like, so I have an older half brother, older half sister, okay. but we didn't grow up in the same house, but we were all tight. Okay. Um, but then I have a younger sister that's like I grew up with, but she's not okay. into sports. She didn't play sports. She really? had, yeah, she had a heart um, condition when she was young, so she couldn't play sports really um, okay. growing up. But yeah, I, I still get it. But do you know what shit. it's like to be the older sibling yeah. in the house? Oh, yeah. And you have to like walk a straight and narrow, and then you see this guy getting away exactly, with everything, doing everything, and you're like, the baby, yeah, absolutely. Do y'all not have the energy for this guy anymore? That's exactly. I think they just give up on it. They the give parents. up. Yeah, they're like, just like, yeah, like we did it. It's like, yeah, we put all everything into you, and it's right. all good. Like, you can just go mess up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's like the first time you it. try something, you're like holding your breath, you're all nervous, you want it to be perfect, and the second time you're like, yeah. been there, done that. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I. <laughs> This is the only thing I could relate it to because I don't have any kids yet, but I've had two dogs in my life. Yeah. So my second dog now, she's like, I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Just walk around, like, go do your thing. My first dog, I was like, oh, are you okay, buddy? Like, you know, like, yeah, I'm like, be careful. The yeah. smallest pant. You're yeah. like, is there yeah, an issue like, here? <laughs> Seriously. I bring him to the dog park and I'm like watching all their dogs and be like, hey, get away. Get away from him. Like, too leave close. Him now I have a French bulldog and I'm just like, yeah, she's fine with this German shepherd. Like, she'll be fine. Like, she's tough. Yeah, she's all right. Like, she'll, <laughs> she'll be fine. She'll buff out. I yeah. think that's a really good comparison, though. Yeah, that's. I, I genuinely feel it, so I get it, like from parents. But I guess it's humans and dogs. Maybe no, <laughs> they're like the best, the best judge of like if you want to have kids, it's to like get a dog first, yeah, right? I get it, yeah. yeah. So I currently have two dogs. One by accident, found her, adopted her. What kinds? didn't want it? What kinds? She's a Shih Tzu poodle mix. That's what I had growing up. No, no, no joke. Way. Yeah, we would be like, I have a shit poo. Yeah, that's what I call her. I have a shit. I have a shit like, and a poodle mix. Yeah, yeah shit poo. Shit poo. That's what I told and people. And then I have a Chewini. Ah, he's my old nice. guy. He's like he's an old fart. He's yeah. like the old G. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So they have like a good little thing going. Yeah. He's cool. like tolerates her. She loves him. Yeah, and she probably keeps him young a little bit too. Totally, like, yeah, totally. That's yeah, that's good. He has to like burn some calories too. He's like a thick guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps some shape too. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. No, that's important. Yeah. I always said that I had a boxer, my first dog, and I was always like, when he gets older, like he did, he was an eight, but I was like, he was still in shape. So I was like, when he gets to be 10, like I'm gonna get a younger dog, keep him in shape, yeah. but he didn't make it to 10. So that's part, I know. Boxers are tough know. like that I know, though. yeah. He was, bro, he was so healthy too. And it was just like literally one day, just fucking. The decline. Yeah, he cool. had like a, he had like some, a heart, I don't even know. Like it was, un, I didn't even know he had it. Like he was fine, everything was normal. And then just literally one day I had like a seizure. And just like had to take him, put him down. It was, it was tough. That was, was crazy. Yeah, that seems traumatic. Yeah, it was, it was, it was. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna have a dog for a while, but then yeah. this French bulldog came into my life, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get her. Yeah, right. And it's a girl dog, so it's it was game so over. So you're for a girl me. dad. Now. I'm a girl dad now. Yeah, no big good for deal. you. Yeah, no big deal. Father's Day's coming up. Yeah, it's gonna be, I know. It's my day. Yeah. Uh, everybody, keep in mind Father's Day. That's right, Day's guys. Up. Make sure you guys wish me a happy Father's Day. My barber did <laughs> wish me <a> happy Father's <laughs> Day. Today. I had dapped him up. I was like, thanks, bro. Have a great Sunday. Like, happy Father's Day. He's like, you too, man. He's like, don't forget, you have a dog. I'm like, thanks, I do bro. have I do. responsibility. You're right. I do. Yeah. You're right. Thank you. It is you my day it. on Sunday, you too. That title. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Great job. Um, yeah, that was great. Um, all right, so little brother growing up. Um, mom, I know, coached, right? She was a uh, basketball. So, sports, Coach, what about sports pops? Is through and through. My dad was a football player. Okay. Um, didn't play after high school, but. He, I'm assuming he's a big dude, too. Big dude. They're both like six two, so they're like not big to me. Right. But right. like to everybody else, In they're general, like, oh, your parents yeah, are tall. Exactly. And I'm like, are they tall? Yeah, I'm six five. My brother's six ten. They're not right. that tall. Yeah. I thought I was like the head honcho in the house. Like when I turned sixteen, I was like six three. I was like finally taller than my parents. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna punish me now, mom yeah. and dad? <laughs> and then I went to college, right? I grew to be six five. Yeah. But my brother and I were he was like at my shoulder. When I went to college, yeah. I came back, Christmas break, we're eye to eye, and I was like, oh God, damn. I have to be nicer to this kid <laughs> because he's gonna be very big. Yeah. And so that's when our relationship changed. I started being way nicer to him. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love the honesty there. Yeah, that's when the relationship changed. <laughs> it had to, it just yeah, had to. I mean, yeah, it does. Yeah. I used to be able to like rough him up a little bit. Yeah. Um, when my buddy's and, getting big and strong, yeah, it's all there too. That's. Starts a big body in you. Right. It's over. I had to change my attitude. I had to look in the mirror and be like, okay, he's changing, so you're also yeah, going to have to exactly. change That's good. That's growth. That's life. That's yeah, it's important. It's important. That's good. That's so that good. was my first self-check that That's I really nice. had to do. <laughs> That's awesome. Where did, uh, where did he play? Did he play college ball? He went to UL, and then he transferred to UNO. Okay. He won a conference championship there. Nice. That's yeah. Dope. That's awesome. But you know what? The smaller schools, like, if you're, like, the biggest guy on the team, you do, like, the center stuff. Scotty is like really 
a dynamic player. Okay. So he puts the ball on the floor and he shoots a three and everything? Oh, wow. He can do it all. Yeah. And he also, like, shout out to God for this one. He got a 40-inch <laughs> vertical. I don't know what happened to me. What? I didn't even get half that. And I'm just like... 6'10 with a 40-inch vert? Yeah. Ooh. This man's athletic. So he can throw down some dunks, too. Yeah. Jeez. He's got about... To, he doesn't, like, train anymore for himself. Right. But he can still throw down like between the leg dunk and like obviously like I don't do this. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for retirement to start trying those things out. But um, smart, smart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to injure myself. No, smart. Yeah, we're getting older. You gotta be smarter you about those be things. Smarter. Yeah, absolutely. No, I get your it. body's your business. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm gonna just try those dunks like in post basketball career, and see what they look like. Nice. That's smart. That's um, but he. He's That's definitely balance. got some balance. Sounds like, yeah, sounds like a good athlete. That's awesome. I always like to understand people's journey. You know, like you've obviously been all around the world at the highest level yeah. um, and understand where it came from. So it sounds like, yeah, sports and athletics were big in your house growing up. Huge. Like, yeah. we, and we're like ultra competitive, whether it was like a board game, uh, that's a, video game. Figured, like when yeah. Nintendo Wii came out, like we were breaking real sweat. We yeah. were breaking real sweat. Living room, the house is shaking probably. Right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're just sitting there at tennis and you know your guys like bouncing around yeah. like this. <laughs> but you were like. No. It's all Serving about the flick ace. of the wrist and right. how quick it can be. No, I get it. I was the wrist it, flick was where you couldn't exactly. just like go and no. wail it. Yeah, it wasn't how fast you moved your arm. It was the it was the it, it was, was the, the quick small yeah. technicalities. Yeah. A little twitch, yeah. Um, but it, it got really you know about Nintendo Wii. Okay, I just didn't know. No, some kids it. don't know, know about Nintendo. No, I asked a kid. They Chris, have virtual reality and all that stuff. Now. Yeah. An eighteen-year-old. I was like, "Have you ever played GameCube before?" And he was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, what's and that? I was like, "GameCube." Yeah. He was like, "No." Wow. That's incredible. No, I I always ask her. You didn't know GameCube? No, no way. Yeah, see. How old are you? Twenty-one. Yeah. Dang. I know, dude. It's crazy. That's what I love. The shop is great because I have a, we have a nineteen-year-old kid that works there. Twenty-one. Then I got a twenty-seven-year-old. So it's like I got all and then and yeah. Abby's twenty-four. So we got all the different generations. I'm like, which? i like, where did this fall into? You? Are you looking right. it up right now? You're looking up what a GameCube is? Yeah. It's the, a console. It was, really it was a cool. console. The discs were like. Yeah. Yay big. They were. It was tiny. like in between. It was like. PlayStation had just come out, yep. I think, and then you had Nintendo 64, like the OG, yep. and then there was like Dreamcast, then there was GameCube yep. and all that, yeah. GameCube, I think... The My parents X just stopped at PlayStation for me, they were like, that, and I had N64, and they were like, look, this is good N64. enough, we're not doing any of those, like, I, this, we've already gone our limit, so... Right. I was like, yeah, that's fine, that's good. I don't then know. Rock Band came out, right. and Guitar Hero yeah, came good. out. That was my freshman year of college, yeah. That was, I put in way too much time on that. Yeah, see, like, I didn't play that as much, because we were playing more, like, uh, like basketball and football okay, video games yeah, and yeah. stuff, but we definitely had it in the apartment my freshman year. It's fun yeah, stuff. there was a few nights that I was just like, how did it become 3 a.m. right now? Right. Like, that's what, you get lost in it, yeah. It's yeah. and it was tough too. Like I got worked my way up to hard and even like expert Damn. for some songs. Really? Humbly, humbly. Wow, humbly. Yeah, yeah that's I don't want to brag you know, too much. Yeah, but that's what we're here for. We're here yeah. to tell your story. That's good. That's part of it. Yeah. Since we're here at the McDonald's All American game, my <laughs> senior year. Yeah, McDonald's All American. McDonald's All American. Fuck, that's like that's on. I'm, I got a little chills. That's that. That's, it was that's crazy. pretty dope. Tell it me was, what. All right, tell me what that's like. When did you find out? How did you find out? So I thought I was in trouble. My coach like pulled me into the office and she was like, and I was like, I'm a rule follower yeah. to the nth degree. Like yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. to break rules. Yeah. And so I was like, wow, am I in trouble? Like I'm nervous. Yeah. And sitting there, <laughs> like, like, what did oh, I my do? Gosh, yeah. Like my parents find out about, I was like, wait, what did I do? Yeah. So she comes in and she was like, well, do you know why you're in here? And I was like, not really. No, like, tell me, and she was like acting mad. And she was like, and you're going to have to miss a week of school. And I was like, for what? <sighs> like, <sighs> She's like, you're going to McDonald's All-American game. I was like, no way. That's so we went to Columbus, rough. Ohio. Yeah. Which oh my is God. like mid. Yeah, I've been there before. I feel like. Yeah. It's cool. You know what's funny? It's Columbus. It's all about perspective, though, because in AAA baseball, you're like, this is a cool city because really? everything else sucks, yeah, that you're playing in. Yeah, but I thought Columbus was like, and again, it was, it is mid. I've been around much more now, and yeah. you're like, okay, it's mid. But when you were in AAA baseball, they were like, this is cool. We actually have some things to do. The stadium right. was nice, so it was like little things like and that. And there's yeah. like decent food in the area. Yeah, yeah like, it was good. It yeah. was cool. Yeah. So that's cool. So that was your senior year? That was my senior year. Went to the McDonald's game, and this was the first year that like, they were trying to promote PlayStation. Nice. Okay. So they partnered with like PlayStation and like Xbox and stuff like that. So the guys were like way too good at like 2K and whatever the game was at the time basketball yeah. wise. So all the girls were like, you know what? We're going to just like master rock band because they had a rock band tournament and a 2K tournament. That's hilarious. And me, Caleb McBride and Maggie Lucas 
won the rock band tournament. That's I was awesome, shredding the guitar. <laughs> um, and so I won a PSP. I don't know if you remember nope. uh, I, the little handheld. Yeah. Way the, before it's time. That's how I got through uh, minor league baseball on the bus all the time. That PSP, was my fucking thing. Yeah. Way ahead of its time, though. They need a PlayStation. The give it another chance. Like, now's the time for now it. Now is the time, yeah. You know what a PSP is? Oh. Do you know what a sidekick is? A T Mobile oh sidekick. God. Oh my gosh. No! We're going to give you, a, yeah, one day we'll sit down. We'll We're going to have to go through like nostalgia with you. I remember in, in high school, there was this kid, there was one kid that had a sidekick, and yeah. I was like, that kid's the coolest kid ever. I'm like, yo, they was, so he cool. would flip it up and be text. I'm like, right. oh my God. I'm like, damn. I, I want to be sidekick. him. Yep. We had one kid. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it's what, what there's a modern one now that people, what is it called? It's a, uh, it's Switch. Yeah, switch. it's kind of like a switch. Oh, the switch, yeah. Today's version is a switch, I would say, probably. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that was the best, yeah. Sidekick, though. That's A hey, sidekick was where it was at. This the was before kick. the iPhone games, all this stuff. It was... Yeah. Yeah. But you could, awesome. like, get on the internet. It was yeah, very was it. slow. Yeah. I remember like he had AIM on there. He had AIM, and that's when... Yes! And I was like, he's de he's me instant messaging people right now? Wait, time out. What like, was what? your... Baseball kid, some stupid name, yeah. Still talking about screen name. Yeah, yeah it was, I wasn't very name. creative. I wasn't very creative. I was baseball kid nine nine eight nine. I think. Oh, I don't know how I just remembered that. That's unbelievable. I never have no, thought about yeah. that. I probably haven't thought about that in twenty years. Because honestly. that's how you got around in middle school to high school. Like, you didn't be like, "Hey, what's your phone number?" You're like, right. "What's your yeah, screen yeah, name?" What's your screen name? Yep. And yeah. you would just. I was a legend at the away messages, though. Away messages were my thing. I had, oh, I had really? witty, witty, funny, you know. And then we so put you some were ahead of your there. time. Yeah, it was. I, th I would like to think so. Thank you for saying that. Not yeah. a lot of people utilize the away message very I know. well. I know. I, th I took pride in it. Tiger bait fifty five. You should have like hit Ti me. Tiger bait fifty five. I was wow. in there. Tiger yeah. bait. Look at you. I was like going for everybody. I'm like, if you're not a tiger <laughs> fan, then like you're tiger bait. That's what it tiger is. Bait. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Wow, good times. Just reminiscing over here. Man. That's awesome. So we're going to have to get like some PSPs in the shop. We're going to have to get... I, I would just love some PSP. N64. Really? I think I still have my N64 too. I do. Some of those I know games I are worth... I know. I trust... I, we have them graded in the shop. Like, as, really? There's like actual collectibles. Like some of them are worth like a lot of money. Yeah. Do you have 007? Oh, no. That's a gold. That's a grail. That's, that is a grail. If it's graded, it's a grail. Yeah, it's hard to get. Yeah, it's like... I'm talking like five thousand dollars. Well, I was looking to get just like a regular one. I have like, the actual game like on my PlayStation. Yeah. I mean my uh, N64 stuff. Right. But, it's, but even if you go to sell that, you have to pay oh, yeah. more than what you would pay for a modern Absolutely. day yeah. PlayStation. Absolutely. Four game. Yep. Five. What yeah. are we on now? Five. I don't even know. PS5. Yeah, I do know. PS5. That, actually. I do have a PS5. Yeah, I'm better at 2K than Maya, so don't let. Really. Yeah. yeah. She won't play me. We've talked about it. Yeah, we've talked about playing. You and can't talk and not play. like. <laughs> I say this off camera plenty of times. Wow. All right, we'll have to. We're gonna have to play at the shop. We got a bunch of. Huh? Woof. I'm trash. <laughs> yeah. Really? I recently had this. I went to a podcast in Vegas, and we were talking with like um, the gaming guys. Yeah. They're so great. Osti was my guy, and he was like, "All right, for the second segment, we're gonna like hop on 2K." So I've never played Sydney Coulson, um, my yeah. TV show co-star, also teammate, never played. But I at least played like Fortnite a few times. Like I yeah. actually am, I'm passionate about Fortnite. I'm just not great at it. Okay. Um, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about it. I love like, that. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> <laughs> I put in too much time for me to not be better at it, but yeah. like it's fun, right? Uh, that's hilarious. And I play Rocket League, yeah, okay. the soccer, yeah, yeah, yeah. car soccer game. Yeah. Okay. So we're playing 2K. I didn't know who I was the entire time. Like I couldn't tell. Oof, I had to run in yeah. the opposite direction to yeah, see who was Sydney good. and who was me. Yeah, you're not. That's not good. Yeah, you're not. She's not. Should good. I have not said good. that on camera? No, no, it's good. I think I honestly I I value the vulnerability. That was yeah, nice. no, you know, this you're is being a safe real. space. Yeah, exactly. It's very safe. Yeah, you're allowed to say what you want. And cool. We we accept everybody here. Yeah, it's fine. You. If you're not a good 2K player, you're still welcome. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank Are you. The camera's still working. Good. Okay. Well, that's the. Well, they were. Uh, they were worried about him last time, remember? So I just wanted to make sure. Your face was making me concerned. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming back. Wait, you, heard, wait. you heard our conversation and you wanted to come back and listen, didn't you? Exactly what happened. I know, I wait, that. you're 24. So do you know what a PSP is? Yes. Okay. That, that, that wasn't confident. She, she yeah. wouldn't be honest if she didn't know. What about a GameCube? Yeah. Okay, that okay. was confident. Okay, that was. That was way so more confident. So she's somewhere in between yeah. GameCube and PSP. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, on the other hand. No, we need to educate you. That's yeah. good. That's fine. 
Yeah, I think you would like a PSP a lot, actually. Just knowing your personality, like, I think you would be locked in on it. Because you could, I played 2K on it all the time. A DS? Is that, oh. yeah, that, yeah, that's Oh similar. my god, it's was similar. that your first handheld, handheld device? Yeah, Mario Kart. But it was on a DS? I'm probably way before you. I'm a, I'm a Game Boy. I was a Game Boy. Oh, Game Boy was my, The like, black and white one, and then, like, when I it came a, in I colors. Had, I'm older than you enough that I was the big gray The big OG black one, one. yeah. yeah I was the black. OG gray one. Mario Then baseball? I went to, yeah, what? Mar Mario, just the first game, Mario, Mario like, was, was just like, Mario, Mario Super World. Mario Bros. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was my first one. And then I think I went to, yeah, the, the black Game Boy Pocket. Yeah. And then Game Boy Color came out, and then that changed my world. Game well, the Game Boy was, Advance, the one that got wider. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't love that, though. I, I was, I, I, was I liked the, the vertical one, yeah. But you couldn't put, like, the small cartridges. It was, like, a problem. It was, like, that you was had it. to move on. Exactly. But you didn't want to. Right, exactly. That's but why they I also like allowed it. you yeah. to move your game, the bigger games. Yeah. You which could was, have an adapter. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't. The was advance that? wasn't my thing. That's why I like the pocket and the, and the color. You could use the same games and oh, yeah. actually, and the OG ones. No, no, OG one had different games, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was the one that was like flipping and came like backlit or not? Oh, I don't know. See, I, I might have been out of Game Boy at that point. I See, I was like, that was the tail end of my like okay. Game Boy career. Damn, I actually saw somebody playing a Game Boy, or I got an ad on my phone about something like Game Boy, and I was like, I really want to play Game Boy again. Game Boy. Yeah. Like, Let's start it. I, I'm down. Okay. Let's do it. Create a Game Boy club. All right, every Sunday we're going to meet here. <laughs> I love it. Starting at the on shop, Father's at the shop, Day to celebrate. We, yeah, because we don't have air conditioning in here, so we're going to celebrate at the shop. We're going to celebrate at the shop. We're going to move it to Perkins. We're going to do it on Game Boy. Yeah. Game Boy. Game Boy PSP was, I was a handheld killer. That was, my parents would be like, yeah, they were annoyed. Every time we got in the car, I'd be locked in playing uh, Slugfest. Ken Griffey Jr. Slugfest was yeah. my game. On, that was a good uh, one. On Game Boy Color, yeah. Also. Pokemon um, too. I was, I was nice at Pokemon. I loved Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. I had like a bunch of them. Yeah. I had blue, yeah, me the too. ruby, the sapphire. Yeah. I played gold. I was red, blue, and gold. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. What not. was your like legendary? Like, what would you? I would go for like Blastoise a lot. Yeah, me too. Me no, too. No. Nice. I was never big into the fire ones. Yeah. No, the fire. So didn't I was. Do it for I was usually Blastoise, honestly, or the yeah, the water one. Yeah. Squirtle. Yeah, Squirtle. Yeah. Squirtle. This water, is really making water. me want to like find my. I'm telling you, I'm gonna like it's gonna be weird. I'm probably gonna go on eBay and find one and get it delivered soon and start playing again. Yeah. For sure. Thanks for let sparking me know. this. Yeah, yeah, let me know. I didn't see this podcast going this way. Now I'm gonna have a Game Boy problem. Thank you. Right, you're it's welcome. Yeah. Your new addiction is yeah. my fault. That's yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. It'll get me away from gambling, so that's good. <laughs> Another. <laughs> that's also very fun. Yeah. What's your game of choice? Um, so blackjack and yeah. honestly, poker is probably my game of choice. Like I love like poker. Texas Hold'em. Yeah, Texas Hold'em. Yeah. It's fun. Um, but it's. It's weird because like I like playing online, but I don't trust that it's not bots and shit, right. you know what I'm saying? But it's hard to find a good group that you would want to sit down with for like right. three or four hours. That's the thing is like you got to make sure you like your people that you sit around with. And, Absolutely. Yeah, so. I um I was only playing on the app. Like I was playing on the app with like fake money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're playing against the she, Connecticut Sun. That's what she does. Do you play the apps? She's the other day we we're like driving somewhere and she's like she's like just won thirty five hundred on blackjack. I'm like it's not even real money. Chill the fuck out. Right. Like relax. You can get your coin. Yeah. Like. yeah. I'm like stop it. Like I'm like look at my sports book here. That's way cooler. Right. It is way cooler. <laughs> it's real money. <laughs> so like I'm in. We're about to play the Connecticut Sun. Yeah. And we are we got there two days early. It was like a long road trip, right? So we have like a bunch of time to kill. And I don't know if you've ever been to Uncasville. Connecticut, but what is it there's called? not much there. Uncasville? Uncasville. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. It doesn't it looks sound like, like there's a lot of things there. Uncastville. Okay, okay, Uncasville. So it. the Mohegan Sun's there. It's like this big casino okay. yeah, owned yeah, by yeah, the, yeah, Mo yeah. the yep. Mohegan tribe. Yep. Also, the team plays there. It's really, okay. it's actually a cool place yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're not stuck there for like multiple days at a time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, let me go try this poker room. I have like time to kill. Yeah. So I go in, it's my first time playing in person, and I'm like asking questions. I understand the game, but like not real life, like verbally yeah. understanding everything. Yeah, yeah. But the guys at the table were hardcore judging me. Oh, 100%. That's the thing. That's the thing. That sucks. That's what I'm saying is like, I don't like that. I, I know poker and I play poker, but it's just like still people are judgmental. They're meat like. Hella it's, judgmental. Yeah. They were trying to get in my head, but oh, yeah. I beat them to the punch. <laughs> I was getting in their head. So yeah. then once I understood that they were like, Loki disrespecting me for asking bad questions. I'm like, I'm just gonna play the ditzy dumb that doesn't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So I'd be like, wait, is this my turn to put in the big amount of money? <laughs> and all the guys would be like, oh, why is she at the table? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But mad. then on hands that I knew that I was like slugging, I was like, I don't know if I should. 
<laughs> so how much do I have to put in at the minimum? I'd like play so dumb, ask and all the dumb questions. Like I'd be like, can I go all in right now? I would go all in. I'll, they'd be like, yeah. match that. Yep. Call. And I'd be like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, exactly. That was nice. Yeah. Scooping it all in. Yeah. And I made like 800 bucks in there for like two nice. hours. Yeah. That's a good win right there. But I was, they thought they were getting to me. And you were like, actually, I'm playing y'all. I had no idea. Yeah. So shout out to those four random guys at the table. <laughs> That's why I don't play in casinos because people are just like, I'm like, first of all, I'm probably better than you, but you're going to act like you're better. It's annoying. Yeah. People start talking weird stuff. I'm just like, I don't like it. And that's uh, blackjack I'll do it's kind of similar because if you do have some like blackjack's different than poker though because poker is like you're playing by yourself right. blackjack kind of depends on how like things are happening right. for everybody right. so like I don't like if somebody messes up and doesn't like I'd rather you ask questions to the dealer yes. and the table and be like hey should I hit here should right. I do this should I do that rather than do some stupid shit and mess everything up for everybody else because exactly. then my money's affected by your Poor ignorance disagree. or like Just you like were scared yeah exactly and like there's nothing wrong with that because that's how i had to but learn still, everybody else yeah it's taking money out of your pocket exactly yeah so have you ever played texas hold'em like ultimate texas hold'em i think what's at the table with the dealer oh yeah it's like you versus the dealer oh no 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 i know no, what you're talking about i have it yeah yeah because I know you can see about. everybody else's cards exactly and you, yeah. but you're not going against it's them. Just, yeah heads up against the dealer. also if much, i right? have a high card you can like bet on that betting that they won't get based off of like what you see on the oh, board I like that so like if you if you have like a pair of sevens and you don't think that they even have a pair yeah you bet on those sevens when really like sevens would be like maybe a mid yeah yeah like you're not super confident i like racked up on that racked up on that Ooh, i'm gonna have to go try that out i it's do really like good. i like hold them a lot and also like have them explain it to you because they'll They'll teach you. They'll break and like it down it. a little yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's actually like a very simple concept. Yeah. And it's way easier than like also playing against. I like that a lot more. I like yeah. that a lot more. Yeah. No, that's better. I have no shame when it comes to asking the dealers or anything about it. Like I'd ra again, I'd rather find out and like know and ask Absolutely. and make sure I'm doing it right. Like, yeah. And most dealers are cool. Like that's the point of like them being there too. Like yeah. obviously, yeah, they want to interact. So. They want to interact. If yeah. not, they're just like tossing cards. Exactly. Like, not speaking. Exactly. That's not yeah. fun. Yeah. During our championship season in Vegas, me and two of my teammates Living were like, in Vegas. Oof. it was so fun. I love Vegas. Oof. That would be dangerous. I well, like. Vegas isn't like just the strip. There's right. so much more outside yeah. that like moving to Vegas, I was like, it just seems like the strip, right? But I compared New Orleans and Vegas together because it's like a small city with like big city energy, right? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and two of my teammates, like we're on a mission to gamble at like any casino, just like anything, but yeah. like we're going to go to every, from Circus Circus to the win. Yeah. We, I think we missed like one or two. That's awesome. So we're doing all this, having a good time. I never played craps before. I don't know if you're a craps guy. I've only played it once or twice. And I played it on vacation. It's fucking awesome. But it's so fun. It is so fun. But yeah, I, I forget how to play it, so I haven't done it in the casino because I'm yeah. definitely intimidated to walk up with 12 people playing. But oh my gosh, we should go. I would be down. If somebody te so what, the only the couple times that I played craps, I was in the Bahamas with like four or five of my boys. We all went yeah. on a trip, and they we stayed at this dope resort where they had a craps table out by the pool. So no we could, way. It was fucking unbelievable. So you could walk up and like five of us were playing and the person's teaching us like the, how to play. It was probably the best two hours of my life. Like playing. And then this old couple came in and played with us. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. Pool side. It was pool. Crabs. It was unbelievable. They were bringing us drink, like tropical drinks. They were cutting down the coconuts, making it right there, bringing it to, oh, it was unbelievable. It was a dream. Oh my gosh. Dream. I got to call Kia because that sounds like where we need to play. You do. The Perhaps. Cove. The Cove at Atlantis. Oh. It's the adult part. Yeah, of, the adult part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. They had no the craps way. table outside, yeah. And we went on, like, a, the way my friends and I, like, could go, we couldn't go on a weekend, so there wasn't a lot of people in the resort. So yeah. we went on, like, a Monday, Tuesday, like, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and there was no one out by the pool, so, like, it was great. Like, we were just by ourselves and had the craps table to ourselves, so the person was teaching us how to play. Really? It was awesome. And then this old couple came in, and they were hilarious. The woman was drunk off her ass, and, like, hitting on all of us with her husband there and he was like encouraging it it was awesome i mean she was old he's like yeah like, yeah he's like yeah baby go get those it was, <laughs> it was awesome we were like this is not real she's life. like yeah that's my wife she <laughs> yeah. can get all of you guys if she yeah, wants exactly yeah Meanwhile, it was you awesome you guys are like wow she's coming in very strong right now very strong but you know we're all winning money so it's all good and they just Everybody's keep giving us drinks it. everything's good it's all good well also what i love about the craps table it's like about camaraderie like yeah. there's energy there yep. you don't want to go to like a quiet craps table that means nothing good exactly, is happening. Yeah. You want to go to like the rowdy group, 
you know, you see high fives happening, exactly. all Everybody's this stuff winning. happening, yeah. everybody's winning. Yep. But that's why I don't do it at the casino right now because I'm a little rusty and I'm like, yeah. I don't want to be that news person. I'm like, hey guys, what you guys doing over here? You know, like, and they're like, oh, this newbie's here. And then I kill the vibe, you know right. what I'm saying? So I can't do that. Yeah. Crazy story. But yeah, we should go. But yeah, tell me the story. We're in Vegas. This was after our season ended. And we're just like hitting, we went from like Caesars and then we hit Bellagio. We're like going Making one to the next. Yeah, we're yeah, like, yeah. Also getting our cardio in, off season Smart. vibes, like yeah. bop, 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 hit the strip, right? Smart. Yeah. So we lost a bunch of money, and by a bunch of money, it was like 200 bucks. Okay, that's, so a, that's like, a lot of money. We were like, heard about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. No way. Yeah, I fucking hate losing money. I that's don't care like if it's $5. Four gas tank, yeah. I don't care. It's money. It was, it was tough, yeah. right? So we're like down. <laughs> so we go to the Bellagio, and we're like, we got to battle back. We hit the craps table. We find a $15 minimum, and we're like, you know what? This seems our, our vibe. We just. Just took a big hit <laughs> at Caesars. So, yeah. like, Bellagio is where we're going to have our bounce back. We went around the table a few times. Everybody rolled. And then, like, I got in what I call, like, Alan from The Hangover. Like, <laughs> the numbers were, like, just yeah. going my head. I was, like, in my zone. I rolled the dice for two and a half hours straight. People loved you. We went from $15 minimums to $150 minimum. And we had a crowd of, like, eight deep. It was getting rowdy. I don't know what was going on, <laughs> but we won about like, t as a group, there was like three, four of us. As a group, we won about fifty thousand dollars, forty thousand, forty to fifty thousand dollars. What? In that two and a half hours. I really want to go play crafts with you now. Like, I haven't been able to do it since. Like, <laughs> I was like, we gotta chatter my... your inner Alan again. We I need know. the numbers. I don't know what was happening. I think it was because I was like. Feeling hopeless, yeah. leaving Caesars and feeling found, hopeless. Yeah. And you found it. You found and something. And then the Bellagio just brought it out of me. So that's I want to be around you when that happens again. Yeah. So yeah. So maybe, maybe we can find WNBA it. salaries aren't there, but if you just hit up the Bellagio, <laughs> you could do just fine. You can make your salary in just a couple hours with Teresa. Exactly. <laughs> we went from that minimum to not just yeah. like in like two that. and a half hours. That's, uh, yeah, I need I need that lifestyle. It was good. Let's go. Yeah. We Coming with that down 200, walking out plus 50 Gs. Give me that. Right. We were walking out of there like, I'm sure a lot of people were making a lot more and losing a lot more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we felt like we owned Vegas at that point. I you couldn't too. tell us anything. Walking to our car in the parking garage, having to pay for parking. We were like, whatever. Keep the change. <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. What money? What? Swipe meter. Like, yeah. That's it was a time. Unbelievable. It was a time. Wow. Yeah. All right. So craps is on our schedule. We craps. got PSP. We got craps. Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. Game Boy. This is a, I, I like this we episode. Have a, this we have is a good. busy future. It's good. I know. It's, we got a lot going on. Like we're going to go to the West time. Bank too. Yeah, so. West Bank. Yeah, we got, we got some things. Yeah, we got some things. This is good. All wow. right. I like it. Our list I'm gonna is growing. Clear my, I'm going to clear my September that's, and see. That's what, my birthday month. That's perfect. I'm no in. way. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. Yep. Father's September 9th. Day. Father's Day is coming out. That's a big holiday for me. Big yeah. holiday. Yeah. yeah. September. Got a lot, got a lot of right. things. Yeah. A lot of things. I'll like pencil you in. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Please let me know the dates and I'll West just put Bank it on my. West Bank time slash Game Boy time Game Boy, slash Pokemon time yeah, Poke slash Craps All time. of it. Craps. Yep. Cool. If you want to do it in a couple days, like I'm good. That's perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. We'll keep in touch. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep in touch. Can I still Anybody ask you else? some more questions though? Yeah, like before, for sure. like we do that? Yeah. Okay. Good. Because you're talking about your championship in Vegas, so I gotta, I gotta ask about that. Tap in. Yeah, like so. Talk to me about the team championship. Was that your? First, I mean, you played overseas and stuff. Yeah. Had you win other championships? I won an Israeli championship in the Israeli Cup. That's cool. So that was cool. Yeah. Also, how many Americans were on that team? People that we spoke were English. stacked. You guys, a lot we of people were spoke really English. Good team. Yeah, is Israel's actually a very cool country where it's like. Very westernized. A lot okay. of people speak English. Okay. Really great food. Yeah. I'm. I love a Mediterranean diet. So like. Nice. Really great. Cool. So we're, also, let's add kava to lunch. Ka yeah. Kava to lunch on the Wait, do things. We have kava here. We have a kava here. Oh yeah, it's in Perkins Row. There's two of them actually. Since when? Since when did we? Since when did we have a kava here? <laughs> um. So every Zoe's that was in town, they turned yeah. into a kava's. Kava bought out Zoe's, I guess, or changed their brand, or whatever. And now about everything's New Orleans Kava. doesn't even have a Kava yet. Really? Yeah, we're struggling. How does Baton Rouge have? have we, I think we have three. We have three. Yeah, there's one by campus. There's one in Perkins Row, and there's one in like, like the Country Club area. Well, I know what I'm town. eating for lunch today. That's. I just cool. got really hungry. Yeah, I ate it for lunch yesterday. So. You can't overdo yeah, Kava. So. That's like one thing. No, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, that's it. Really, you can't. Yeah. 
So anyway, yeah, sorry. Mediterranean diet, you've oh got one in the Israeli championship. We yeah. added Kaba to our list, so we got five things now. Also, so, okay. like when you win in Israel, like they celebrate heavily. Nice. I'm not a big drinker. Um, but whenever you win, they pass out shots like every, it felt like in my head for a non-drinker, every minute on the minute. <laughs> and every time they say, Lachaim, oh. you have to like, Cheers. and shoot it. I don't drink, and it was very hard to like keep up. Yeah, I would imagine. And also yeah. like angry people with accents like yelling at you and their <laughs> accent. You're people. just like, why were they angry? Because they're like, you have to take your shot. <laughs> and I was like, I just took one like no less than thirty seconds ago. Yeah, and they're like, well, hi, and you're like, Lime. okay, yeah, and you're like, okay, fine. I was like, I wanted to like keep my arm up for a while, and be yeah. like, it's already made up. Make sure I made it's eye contact yeah, with yeah. every single yeah. person. Yeah. Did you throw up? Yes or no? No. Wow. Yeah, nice. It was okay, tough. that's good for a non-drinker. Yeah, that's good. I did really well. Yeah. I like held it all. Nice. Um, I did go to bed immediately. <laughs> immediately. I love that you said I went to bed, not passed out. Like, but yeah. No, just, I, I went to got bed. into I my chose. bed. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, this is where I was this meant is, to be. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I, I belong. Just, yeah. yeah. You felt at home. That's Woke good. up probably around like three o'clock the next day, yeah. and I was like, I can't believe I did that. Yeah. But you won a championship. But so I won cool. a championship. Yeah. YOLO. That's awesome. Yeah. Exactly. Fast forward. That was in 20. So that was your first professional championship? That was my first professional championship. Nice. Yeah. Then the Aces in 2022 mm. was absolutely insane. Honestly, like the best WBA experience of my life. That's awesome. Um, Becky Hammond is obviously seems Becky like, Hammond. Yeah, like, she seems like. Such a pro coach, yeah. a player's coach. like, And the way that she sees the game. Also, when you have like. A few players like Asia Wilson and yeah, it's moving on you. It's all right. Chelsea Gray, Jackie Young, yeah. Kelsey, Plum. Kelsey Plum. We've yeah. had like stacked roster, right? But everybody like understood their role, and our you know when like you have really good players, sometimes the, there's an ego to go along with Absolutely. it, right? Yeah, yeah. The way our locker room was was so chill. Imagine like you're just hanging out all the time. Everybody gets along with everybody. It was bliss. Yeah. There's never been a situation in my career where I, like there was just that much harmony. Yeah. And just to win a championship on top of like just the mere fact that we were just gelling so well was just the cherry on top. Absolutely. And it was such a great season. It was the first championship in the city of Vegas. So when we got back, because we won on Connecticut's floor. That's right. Yep. We came back. And down the strip, every single casino and their billboard was like pictures of our team. Awesome. They celebrated us like we were like the Raiders or like what you would expect from like a men's I love it, yeah. championship. But the city of Vegas like went all out for us and it was crazy. We had this really crazy parade. It was amazing. I remember seeing it, yeah. So they shut down one side of the strip. It was in front of the Bellagio Fountains. It was yeah. really cool. They put the stage up. Also, another thing about the championship, you train to win a championship. You don't train for, like, the aftermath <laughs> of, like, I, the party. Like, we were, like, partying nonstop. It was, like, stop. club yeah. after club after club. And at some point, everyone was like, congratulations. You were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're good. We get it. Yeah, that was, won. like, a yeah. month ago, right? <laughs> you are like, no, it was, like, three days ago. And you're like, <laughs> well, I've aged a month in those three days. Golly, so, yeah. That was the one where, like, Asia was up on the stage. She was drunk, drunk right? Yeah, that's when she was, like, two shots. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that was a time. That was awesome. It was crazy, though, because they shut down one side of the street for it. Yeah. So many people showed up that they had to shut down the opposite side of the street. We had, like... 40, 50,000 people there for oh, for this team, and it was just absolutely, it was that's awesome. the that's best way, time of my life. That's the way it should be. Now, that's, now, we won a national championship, and it was nothing like that at all, but I mean, like, it wasn't as big as that, yeah. but like, I can relate no, to the, sure. I remember coming back home, and I wasn't, I didn't drink that whole year. Like, I was dry the whole year yeah. playing, and then seven days in a row, I'm like, Honey, I'm gonna die, I think. Like, right. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, it's hard to commit to that. Yeah, like, it was a lot, and so wait, was it like, so we won a championship in Vegas and we obviously had like the Vegas time. What's it like winning a championship in Omaha, Nebraska? Yeah, it was, yeah, we were in a basement, you know, drinking. Wow, that's yeah, special. Yeah, it was, yeah. We, 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 we 
I'm trying to remember. Yeah, so we went out somewhere, you know, in Omaha's. I don't know, whatever. They, I mean, <laughs> Omaha's awesome. I, it really was. It's, yeah. Um, and then there was this LSU bar because LSU had been to Omaha so many times for baseball and stuff. Yep. So there was this bar owner that just let us like go in the basement of his bar because they had to shut down, you know. Right. But then he opened up the basement and all our friends and family were there. A lot of LSU fans. Wow. There was probably 200 people in this little basement. And we were just drinking all night, like staying out till four or five. The guys that were 21 went to the casino afterwards. Wow. Some of the other ones just went back to the hotel and drank some more, but yeah, didn't sleep that night. Yeah, yeah of course not. Yeah, you have to like keep living that moment. Yeah. It's only like you win a championship one day. Yeah. You also like hit your championship peak. You're like, ah, oh, I did it. Now what? Yeah, like, you know, yeah. it's just like, what comes next? Yeah. Like you did it. And then that night we didn't, I didn't sleep. Went back to the hotel, you know, maybe put my head on the pillow for like 15 minutes. Right. We had a bus ride at like 9.30, you know, to get back here. Cause we were doing something at the stadium, you know, like, talk, you know, yeah. kind of like, like the parade, you end up in the podium right. and the people speak, you know, and all that. So again, this is college version. But I remember being on the plane, hung over his shit, right? And I'm just laying there. <laughs> Coach Benary comes and shakes me and he's like, hey, hey, uh, so I'm going to re- pick a representative from all the classes. And so you're going to be the one for the sophomores. And I was like, I remember being like, I'm like no, what? Do like, I have to? Yeah, and he's like, he's like, you're gonna be fine. Just do it. I was like, what does that mean? He's like, you're just gonna talk in front of everybody when we get at the stadium and just like thank all the fans and everything. He's like, you're gonna kill it. And he just walked away. And I was like, I remember getting up. I'm like, did I dream that? Like, I'm like, this is not really happening. Yeah, no. Sure enough, we land. We get right out there. I had to go fucking talk in front of the whole packed stadium on its microphone. You were just think. like waiting for your name not to be called. Like, no way. Yeah, I was just like, this isn't really here. happening. Yeah, I'm like, why do I have to do this for the sophomores? And I was yeah. like, this is brutal. Yeah, so I had to go do that. That wasn't fun. Yeah. I don't remember what I said, obviously, because I was drunk, but right. yeah, it was, I'm As sure. As you should have been, though. Yeah, you no, won a championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. It was yeah. your day to celebrate. Yeah, it was. We celebrated. It was fun. It's yeah. a time. Yeah, so nothing like Vegas, but I can't, so that's what I'm saying, is I can't imagine Vegas what you all fun. went through and what you guys did. It was, it yeah. was fun. Yeah. It also was like, <clears throat> we're the aces, right? So some donor, I don't know who, for the parade gave us like, 30 bottles of Ace, Ace of Spades. Spades. Yeah, I mean, so I, we looked so cool. I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, you guys did look cool. On the buzz with our gold bottle. We are like, yeah, you guys looked cool. We I can't was like, afford I want these. <laughs> <laughs> this That's is awesome. crazy. <laughs> And then somebody opened theirs, so we're like, can we try yours? Like, we don't yeah, want to well, open I'm not ours. opening mine. Right. That's, that's exactly. a, my head was like, I'd be stashing them in my bag and be like, yep, I'm going to put this in the top of the bus. Like, Mine's at my house. Yeah, exactly. Unopened. That's Damn, you didn't bring it here? That's selfish. I know. Yeah, that's right. Whatever. Just bought those rusty old baseball cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty shitty, thanks. You have any, you're bragging about your gold Ace of Spades bottle right. and you brought me some crusty baseball cards. I card. know. Nice. Sorry. Right. Next time, though. That's all right. Yeah, next time. On next your trip to the there West There we go. Right, cool. Add it to the list. Yeah, we're going to drink out of your Ace of Spades. That's what you've been waiting for my 35th I've been birthday, waiting to yeah. pop it open. Exactly. That, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Pokemon, Game Boy. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. That's perfect. And that makes, now it's all making sense. That's good. And this is all just falling right into place. Exactly. Exactly how I saw this podcast going, too. So it's, it's actually been planned on my phone. Poetic yeah. justice. Yep. Exactly. What, so what's next in our... I don't know. That's why We just got to keep talking and figuring out what this else. This is good. <laughs> yeah, this is great. None of this was planned. <laughs> Not at all. This has yeah. flowed crazy well. I love it. Yeah. Um. So also in Vegas, there's really great food. I don't know if you're a foodie. I like eating, so yeah. Tons of really good food. Yeah. Like what? What's your favorite restaurant? Or give me. A, I, I won't do that to you again. Like the countries, but give it's me top. Hard. Give me top three. Where where were the go to spots? So there's this Italian spot that I cannot remember, but you knew where it was. Yeah, that's all that mattered. Car, right. some of the C A R. Carbones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really great. Yeah. Well. Love that. There was a place called Catch. It's Ooh. sushi. Yeah, I've been there. Really been there. great. Yes. But there's a place like off the beaten path. I think it's called like Noodle House. Okay. And Sounds great. it I is like just different bowls of, like from ramen mm-hmm. to like egg drop soup, but like bowls of yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. Let me ask you this. So you've played in multiple countries. Yeah. You've eaten a, obviously a bunch of different foods Tons and stuff. Food. So when you come back home, do you have like a favorite like type of cuisine that you want to eat? Like a, if you're in a big city? I, um, I really enjoy like just like Asian cuisines probably the most. But I, I'm like a foodie. I love trying things. Yeah. Like when I went to China though, I had to like pump the brakes on like of me saying I'd try like right. I'd be like, well, not well that. not that. Yeah. And probably <laughs> I try everything, not that. but yeah. No. But I do like lean towards like Asian cuisine a lot. Um, I tried everything in South Korea because I, so I was good. I was not a I was not a very diverse eater when I went you over there. You were picky. I was and I was very like healthy like you know so yeah. I was like I'm gonna eat these things. This is what I stick to. This is what I like. This is how I eat. And then I realized, I'm like, oh, shit, they're not going to have any of this shit over there, yeah. like anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm 
like blank slate. Like my brain brain is open to everything. I'm gonna try everything, and that's why I was like, the food was so good. Like, and it, I'm obsessed. With and it. how did your body feel? Like, I felt good. There was just a lot of rice and carbs, it so it was just a little carbs. different. But um, but honestly, like I I know enough about nutrition to be like, all right, cool. I'll just balance it out this way, you For know, sure. and that kind of stuff. But like, so I felt fine. Like everything felt good. But yeah, like very clean stuff. Super clean. Yeah. What's crazy to me is like I love eating like fruits and vegetables overseas. Like. Mm. Cucumbers taste like something to me. Tomatoes taste like something to me. Yeah. Especially when I was in Italy, some of the best like raw vegetables you could probably find. Damn, yeah. Without all the things that we put in all our shit here. You come back here, it tastes like water. I'm like, this doesn't even have any like flavor to it. They just want, yeah. And I'm just like, I miss, like in my head right now, I can like still taste what like the cucumbers over there taste like. Mm. I'm like, and I'm still searching for like that right cucumber here in America. (laughs) <laughs> that right I'm still cucumber. searching. I'm looking. So any My cucumber makers open. out there, people that grow cucumbers. Come on. Tap into that Italian life. <sighs> what part of Italy did you... Uh, I was in the south of... I was in Naples. Oof. So I was like... That's a, where my family's from. No let's go. way. Yeah, let's go. We got... I right, so we're going it. to Naples too. There we go. We got another thing to Naples. the list. Yep. Cool. Add that to the list. That could be yeah. October, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Yeah. I went to the I went to Pompeii, went to the Amalfi wow. Coast, all within like 45 minutes. Wow. Really cool. Yeah. Um, living. But... So in China, food's great. But there were certain things that were on on the... So whenever you would play in a different province, different provinces are known for like their dish, their specialty dish. Gotcha, okay. Sichuan province had the best dish, I would say, out of all the province, because it was like a Sichuan dumpling. I Ooh. can't describe it, but it was a dumpling that kind of looked like um, if you would wrap a gumball in like toilet paper and like threw it at somebody like how it had like the like the trickle off effect wow it looked like a ball with like hanging frill it wasn't shaped like a dumpling it didn't look like a dumpling but the Sichuan dumpling was so good <laughs> at first I was like man this is gonna be really appetizing but then no it doesn't it doesn't look good it's okay. like oh so it looked like a ball that's not a dumpling like in my head like I, I know what you. a dumpling looks like that wasn't a dumpling yeah, I got you okay best thing Wow. Then we went to a separate province, Tianjin. Okay. All right. And I was like, ooh, I'm like excited at this point. I've like tried some things. I yeah. tried like sheep stomach. Ooh. Wasn't bad. Pretty good. Weird texture. Very yeah. chewy. Yeah. But it was fine. It wasn't that far out. Then they were like, okay, this province. Cool. What's going on? Also, I have a translator. Nobody speaks English. I've talked to my translator. My translator talks to everybody. And then right. it works like that. So, and also in China, you like have to ask as an American, like, what is this? Even if it like looks like a chicken, you're just like, is this chicken? <laughs> Let me just double you check. Gotta yeah, make I gotta verify. Sure. Yeah, no. So they brought out like what could it be like dog or cat, like or like is that or they you a bat? I or? was never offered any of those animals, okay. <laughs> but I was offered in Tianjin. They brought out what looked like to me steak, and I'm like, okay, steak, cool. I was like, um, hey, Alan, is this steak? I was like, let me ask. The waiter comes up, they start talking, and he like looks at me. Also in Chinese, things don't directly translate, translate yeah, to yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. So like sometimes like they call my translator called uh, cauliflower white broccoli. There's no such thing as cauliflower. Okay. It's white broccoli, yeah, right? Yeah. So he's like, okay, this is donkey. <laughs> I was like, uh. Uh-huh. Like donkey, Alan? Like, <laughs> like a horse? Like, and like he was a mini like, horse? He was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't think I could try this. <laughs> Draw on the line. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I could eat donkey. They just brought it out. Just people were just eating it and didn't eating even think it, about tearing it. Tearing it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it it looked like the way that other people were enjoying it. I was like, I thought about it. It's like you're like, it's a nice steak. You're like, oh. Yeah, but wow. then I was like, no, I can't do it. That's a donkey. So that's where I drew the line. Donkey. Okay, that's interesting. No donkey yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. I ate everything in Korea. I tried everything. What like what's the craziest dish that you were like, yeah, I conquered that? I have a video on my phone. They brought out raw. It was like so. What is it called? Tartar, where it's like raw meat, yep. right? But then there was squid on it that wasn't cooked. They would literally would grab the squid out the back and chop it up and then put it on top of the tartar, and it was moving. And we had to eat it, and that was the most wild thing that I ate. It was moving when I put it in my. Okay, mouth. but was it good? No, I did not like it. It was, so you dipped it in this sauce, you put the sauce on top, and the sauce, like, tasted good, but I didn't, but I tried it. you could have dipped anything in that sauce. Yes, exactly. And I was like, okay, I tried it, guys. Like, the tartare was fine. I'm not crazy about raw meat, but it yeah, wasn't yeah. terrible at all. Right. Like, I liked it. You got to try it. Yeah. And I didn't mind that. 
the squid was not good. It, it literally tasted like I was j- eating salt water, like with some weird. It was not good. Yeah, I was, hear sometimes like when they're still moving, they can still like suction to your like inner cheek and stuff. Wow, no. really? I don't know. They it didn't, didn't warn you that? Did you come no, with a they warning didn't warn label? It. Yeah, no, they didn't. Not at all. No, it just literally was brought to our table. And yeah, my translator wasn't even with me that day. So what? yeah, there was this kid. This ki- it was this kid's family was from Korea originally, but he was raised in the States. And then he okay. was back there like playing ball because he wasn't, he didn't play here in America. He was um, like a dual citizen? Yeah, he was a dual citizen. Okay. So he spoke like fluent English. So it was like we were going out with him and like it was right. fine. We didn't need our translator. He's like, yo, I'm going to take you guys to this place. And we were like, I don't know. I just, it felt weird yeah. the way he's like, he's like, no, no. He's like, you guys think you tried some stuff? He's like, well, we're here. And he starts talking to the waiter and I'm like, I don't like how this is shaping up. Like, it right. just feels weird. And then he's like, all right, you guys ready? And then he brings it out because it was literally, he went to the back and it was like five minutes later, he came back and I was like, oh shit. And I was like, that stuff's moving, Kevin. It's wiggling. Was, yeah. And he was like, yeah. He's like, come on, dive in. And he just started chopsticking it up and putting it on these little leaves and putting the sauce on it. And I was like, Okay, let me film this real quick just to make sure that I'm really right. doing this and I have documentation of this. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, you so had that was, to get that was That was the most wild, yeah. There was a, That's good. There was a side, so in Korea too. You've been to Korea? No, I've never been there? to Korea. Okay. So they do, you've been to Korean barbecue? Or, yep. So you know they have like all kinds of side dishes and stuff yep. with the grill and everything. So one of the side dishes at this one place was literally a bowl of bugs. Like actual, like like looked like a beetle on the ground that you just like fried in the sun. Yeah, and like yeah. it was just a bowl of them. Just like stiff. Yeah, it was, but it, yeah, and so we ate some of those. That was interesting. I tried them. I was like, I just couldn't. And shout out my brother. My brother and his family flew all the way to Korea and came and visited me for a week. That's love. And their kid, yeah, it is. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, and the, his kids were at the time were probably maybe like twelve and ten. They were champs and they ate the bugs too. Like, they were not scared of anything. They went in and dove. I have videos of them. Like, it was awesome. I feel like the 12-year-old version of us also would have tried those I bikes. think so, too. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm telling you, I was a weird kid. I didn't have a hot dog until I was, like, 31 years old. What? I was, like, weirded out. Yeah, it was. I was a weird kid. You were picky, baby. I was a picky kid. Yeah, picky eater. And then, yeah, I went to Korea. And then I was like, you know what? I'll eat these bugs. Fuck it. Like, whatever. Why not? Yeah, I'll eat this I'll just try thing. this moving squid. Yeah, exactly. No problem. Give it to me, yeah. Well, do you feel like you have, like... A bigger palate since Korea. It's the best thing that I ever did in my life. Yeah. Like literally the best thing I ever did in my life because it opened up my mindset to so many different things. Yeah. And it just showed me too how much like, I'm gonna get deep, not deep, but like how much fear, right? Like runs life for you. Like sometimes right. I was just like, I made it, I would, or like stories you tell yourself that you believe, right? And I would like tell myself, I don't like hot dogs. I never even really tried it. Like right. I would smell, I didn't like the texture, I didn't like the look of it. And yeah. then just because of that fear, that like discomfort, that story I told myself, like I didn't like hot dogs. Now I fucking love hot dogs. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, I missed out on fucking hot I dogs know. my whole life because I told myself this Years. story, you know what I'm saying? And so and that's you're why a baseball I, guy. Like I know, my, baseball and hot dogs are like synonymous to me. Don't talk to my dad about it. He like, there's one thing that, out of my whole life, my dad is so proud of me about everything. <laughs> He's like, he'll, he'll disown me and be like, that's not my kid. He's like, that's not my kid. He didn't eat hot dogs. Like, we, we go to games. He'd be like, like, him? No, that, he'd be not like, hot dog He'd be like, guys? under his breath, he'd be like, Anthony eats hamburgers. Like, like we'd be at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like, uh, can somebody put up a hamburger on the grill for Anthony? Like, <laughs> Can somebody get this kid some yeah. two buns and a patty? <laughs> he's like, there's this kid over here who doesn't like hot dogs. I don't know who he is. Yeah. It's weird. I'll yeah. pay for it, though. Yeah. But when he's on the field, he's my son. Just remember that. Yeah, that's my kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just but, away from the concession. Yeah, away from the concession. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's yeah. understandable, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, I understood. Now And then I remember when I... So I ate my first hot dog at Yankee Stadium, like in 2021. Wow! Yeah. Took a picture of it, sent it to him. He goes, "That's not you." He's like, "You're not eating a hot dog." It was like, like yeah. AI. And I was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "I'm sorry, dude. I just want to apologize that I missed out this on all the really connection good. of hot dogs that we." So could you eat just never games. tried it. No. And I, you didn't like trust the people yeah, around you. Exactly. Yeah. And I just kept telling people I don't like them. Yeah. I mean, once you like stick to that, it yeah. is really easy to be yeah, like. I just started believing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was when I was in college, we played on the World University Games team. So it was like some of the best players in NCAA we got on this USA team and we went to Kazan, Russia wow. and we played at an Olympic village. It was like an Olympic setup. Everybody Damn. stayed in one place, every sport, every athlete. And there was an Olympic cafeteria, yeah. which was very cool because there was like probably like 10 different sections, right? And like the Italians and the Russian food and like yeah. African cuisine. And That's badass. Like, there's yeah. just like everything. So I'm like, shit, where's the Americans? <laughs> and I like turn and I was like, McDonald's, that's probably for us. <laughs> Please tell me why I had two teammates that for every single meal only, only had McDonald's. What? Every, 
And we were there for 14 days. Every single meal, snack, whatever, only McDonald's. That's funny. I will say, you know what's funny though? I was a picky eater and I was really healthy eater. I probably didn't eat fast food for 10 years before I went to Korea and then they had McDonald's over there and I crushed McDonald's like so, all the time. Because it, first of all, McDonald's is way different in different countries. Yeah. Like, it is so different. It's like a nice restaurant. It's like, it's like you wear your Sunday's best. Yeah, it's like there was you like- You sit in at the restaurant. Yep, you sit in, you don't, yeah. And it's like clean and nice and not yeah. that every McDonald's isn't like that here, but it's kind of yeah. not that nice. Yeah, and like, then, there was like kids, like they were, they took pride in their birthdays over there. They were like, oh my God, McDonald's, it's my, yeah. like they just loved it. Yeah. The characters would come out. Yeah. Oh, it was unbelievable. They had like the mascots or whatever? Yeah, it was unbelievable. And I, I was did, like, this is so different than our experience. And like burgers were good. It was like good meat. Yeah. Like, everything was different. It's like hearty. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it wasn't have like you, some rubber. Did shit. they have um, Pizza Hut? Yeah. So I'm not a Pizza Hut girl. Mm -hmm. Like if I have to go take out pizza, I'm doing Domino's. Okay. Black box. What about, what about Papa John's? No. Domino's I'm like, I'm okay Papa with Papa John's because okay. of the garlic dipping yeah, sauce. Not, it's really that? good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But like pizza, Hut, I've kind of been off like my whole life. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. No offense. It's definitely number like three or four. It's probably four or five in the power I would put like me, yeah. Hungry Howie's. I know that isn't me everywhere, but, but that's above, top tier I'm, to me. I'm, I'm same. Same, same. So LSU raised us pretty much on that one because 100%. I never had Hungry Howie's until I went to LSU. Me either. I never heard of it until I went to LSU. Never yeah. heard of it. Yeah. Also questioned it. Like you would drive. On yeah. Burbank, and you would see it, and you'd be like, that's I don't. Open. Yeah, not open. Why yeah. are they always open? And then, like, 4 a.m., you're yeah. like, Yeah, I guess I'll try this. Yeah, why then, not? Yeah. So, Hungry House is up there. But in China, yeah. at Pizza Hut, yeah. you see people in, like, suit and tie. And I'm like, Am I underdressed? <laughs> like, I'm walking in, like, concerned. Yeah. Like, yeah. I see yeah. there's a hostess seating us. And I was like, is this, this like Pizza, pizza Hut? Hut? Pizza Hut. <laughs> they were like, yeah. yeah. And I was like, all right. Yeah. They're like, what kind of pizza you want? Mm -hmm. I was like, double pineapple. Hook me up. You're a pineapple and pizza. I'm a pineapple. Okay, continue. Sorry. I'm they from New Jersey, so pizza is like very important to me. Yeah, no, you know, so. I'm sure you're like the true. I but yeah. also like I like okay. all pizza. I like okay. meat lovers. I okay. like the supreme. Yeah, it's fine. I'm like, yeah. but Look, we can't hit a home run on everything, you know. So that's can't. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's good. Everything but else like, has been super solid with us, but the pineapple on your pizza is, is that like, where you, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's fine. It's I hope gonna, that we can recover. From I think, this. I think we can, we can. Okay, There's cool. a lot of other things on the list that we're going to do. We're just going to skip the pineapple on the pizza on that. Right. Day. We'll that's just it. not yeah. talk. We'll avoid that. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. Cause I was judging you openly. I yeah. was judging you a little bit with the hot dog situation. I get it. But now I like, judge myself, honestly. So I totally yeah. understand. I, okay, cool. Yeah, I understand. But we're good though. It's right? a safe space. Yeah. We're great. Again, safe space. Yeah. Very safe. Viewers. This is also a safe space. Like it, it extends to you guys as well. Yeah. All right, so you got the double pineapple. So, in, yeah. no, they didn't have pineapple. Oh, they didn't have it. Okay, because they were what normal. Kind they of were pizza like, is this like. They, they were normal and they were like, we don't put pineapple on pizza. Here. Right. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that, though. I didn't know that I was the odd man out. <laughs> you just put pineapple? I, I'm so curious. I got to ask. I'm so sorry. But you like just put pineapple? Yeah. Nothing I like else? Double pineapple. Nothing else. Like, no ham. Like, so don't, don't people put ham or bacon on it? Like, yeah, with the... ham. I'm like not a fan of the Canadian piece. Okay, okay. Wow. So just, just pineapple. pineapple. So a little sweet with the. Okay. Sweet and savory. And at Hungry Howie's, do the give butter crust. Oof, really? Okay. So good. All right, maybe I'll give it another chance. So I was like, they were like, no pineapple. And I was like, all right, what kind of <laughs> establishment is this? <laughs> so I'm like, already, like, pizza was already down here. Then there was no pineapple. So it was like, double yeah, down. And I was like, this is bad, whatever. I was like, now irritated. I'm like, order whatever you think is good here. <laughs> they like come out and there's corn on the pizza. And I'm like, corn? No pineapple, but you got like corn on the pizza? Oof. But there was like a supreme and corn was one of the toppings, but like never in my whole life have I heard of corn. And obviously oh. like I'm in vitreous with pizza, put pineapple. Yeah. But corn. Corn right? sounds. And also pieces of shrimp. Oh. And I'm like, what this is, no. is this? This is bothering me. Yeah, no. So I'm like, whatever. I did ask them to just order what is best here. <laughs> You're like, you um, asked. Here it is. I thought you were going to go with like a simple cheese. Yeah, pepperoni, you know, whatever. just the normal, yeah. The basics. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like looking at it, I'm like, oh, I signed up for this. I guess I got to like just do it. Why did I like love that pizza? You loved it. I uh, still think about that pizza today. It was wow. really good. Because they Corn brought you the shrimp. best thing. They brought you the best thing. Obviously. They did bring me the best thing. What was it? It was like red sauce still and cheese? Red sauce, cheese. The, you know how like sometimes they have like the stuffed crust that yeah. and it has like the loops where you can see the cheese? It was that kind of crust, but it wasn't stuffed. It they just like had the crust like hmm. with a wobbly exterior. It was like That's interesting. aesthetically pleasing as well. Wow. I was like, wow, Pizza Hut, 
maybe American standards are low, but the Chinese standards blew it out. Black. Wow. It was like a black tie event. Wow. And also the pizza was bomb. Wow. All right. So go to China and try Pizza Hut. Try Pizza Hut. Cool. It I'm was done. Twist my arm. Change your life. It will also yeah. change your life. All right. I'm in. Like this is a situation where that if there were pineapple there, you might like it there. Wow. Okay. Because it's yeah. It's because that, it was so the good. way they do it there. All right. Double pineapple too. So you like not just like a like a like a piece. You like. I want to like. I don't want to see the cheese. I want like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I they bake like, the pineapple, right? So I'm just. I'm so, this concept to me is just so foreign. So I'm just trying to understand. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Okay. There's, I know a lot of people that eat the, the, the I'm not, it's, I know it's you're not. It's either like you love it, it's like a cilantro yeah. thing, right? Yeah, 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 like yeah. you either love cilantro or you hate cilantro. Yeah, yeah. There's not being like, oh, I can do it. I'll try it, right? yeah, it's fine, no. So wow. I just feel like the people that have that gene that makes you like, <laughs> you know, everyone's like, I have the cilantro gene, it tastes like soap. There's a pineapple pizza gene as well. <laughs> yeah. And that pineapple pizza gene lives in me. She, you like it too, right? What about you, it's you so like pineapple good. pizza? It's like I've never had just pineapple. Really? Pizza. Oh. Get the. Like some chicken, like. Oh my god. On some of my heaviest oh days. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just so everybody no, knows, because Abby, Abby just, doesn't have a mic. Registered. Abby doesn't have a mic. Just so you guys know, my why I made that face. So Abby said she likes pineapple with and chicken, chicken on pizza, like together. Stop. No, I would never think of combining. Yo, she's those. trying to normalize. She doesn't have a mic. She's trying to normalize it. Okay, I get. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah like okay. Caribbean chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. But with the tomato, like, don't ruin. But it's Italian. Pizza's so good by itself. Why do we got to do all that? Like, just pizza is good by itself. Just go get your Caribbean chicken by itself. Okay. Yeah, she was trying to, to normalize pizza. chicken sorry. on the pizza. I guess. Oh, sorry. Ah, sorry. Yeah, we asked you. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going for you. You're like the only person on my team in here. <laughs> We're on the same pineapple team. <laughs> no, I've just swayed you guys now. I've swayed. Right, you I've have a turning against each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. You're like, all right, yeah. Pineapple sucks on pizza. Right. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> um. That's unbelievable. But also, like, don't give me a pizza with like I don't. I hate a barbecue pizza or I, I don't hate like, like I don't a. Know. I'm just like, give me red sauce or like whatever the white sauce version is. I could do red I'm and white. Simple. If it's Italian, cool. But don't like Americanize the pizza. Yeah. Like, don't give me like spicy no, see i grew up cheese like chicken. we literally get cheese pizzas and we just call it pizza like that's just pizza for us like pizza. it's just cheese like by itself and i just get we just we call it a plain pie it's just like normal really? cheese and red sauce and that's like our go-to regular in new jersey really? and it's yeah that's what i grew up so like i mean even pepperoni was a little like variation for me growing up i was like and then i got down here and everybody's putting all this stuff on pizza and i'm really? like i try different things and i'll try it here and there but for me it's simple is better for pizza. I mean, it does. It is like... To me, it doesn't need anything. It's it's it is great how it is. it is. Yeah, so that's... Wait, have you... You've been to Italy. I haven't. You haven't no, been to Italy? Yeah, no, no, I haven't. Okay, not. well, insider tip. When you go to Italy, and if you do want a pepperoni pizza, pepperoni isn't pepperoni. Oh, okay. What is it? It's... You have to say pepperoncino. Pepperoncino. Okay, that sounds... Because pepperoni is like something different. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not gonna like it. Okay. Like you might like it. But it's not but, what you're gonna expect. Yeah, right. Your yeah. brain's gonna be like, okay, and then your mouth is like, no way. <laughs> okay. It's like when you like when you wake up in the morning and you're like half asleep and you go to grab the milk, but you accidentally grab the orange juice. Okay. And yeah, you just it's like, a shock, yeah. You're it's a shock right. to yeah, your yeah, system. Yeah. Okay. That is what happened to me when I ordered a pepperoni pizza. It makes sense. I would I, I would be bothered. And but like this is the crazy thing. You gotta learn though. None of my Italian teammates told me what I was doing. That's they were the, like, you ordered it so confidently, we thought that that's what you wanted. I was like, <laughs> like no, I'm American. I'm from America, pepperoni. That's yeah, what we like, ordered. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? Yeah. So I guess that was on me, but that's I also blame them. Yeah, that's they can definitely. Take partial yeah, they, they should take some blame, yeah. yeah. Wow. So I didn't enjoy my first Italian pizza Yeah. because of that situation. Wow. Was all the food other than that good? So good. So I didn't, we never ate our pasta, like, what's it called? Al dente? Yeah, al dente, yeah. And you didn't or you did? I never did. Oh, like when here. I got the, yeah, 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 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I went there and I was like, all this pasta is like undercooked. And they're like, no, <laughs> this is the way that it's supposed to be. Yeah, like, that's the way. Really? That's the best. I love it. And now dente. I don't like pasta like Cooked. the American yeah, way. Yeah. I have to have it uh, al dente. Yep. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, al, al dente. dente. Yeah. So good. That's my favorite. Yeah. That's but also like in it. Italy, when we would travel with a team, they would give you three meals or three choices of like your pregame meal. There yeah. was like a chicken option. A fish option. Okay. And then, like, this is only in Italy. 
You could order a buffalo mozzarella ball Oof, with yeah. prosciutto. Yep. And that was your meal, your pregame meal. I was oh like, if this was God. postgame, I would think about it. Yeah, but like, I can't There's put this no in my belly and then just go run around, and run yeah. around, the court, up and down the court. But a lot of uh, a lot, a lot of my teammates would choose like the, the, the buffalo. and it was like buffalo. buffalo. Yeah, that's it was like the size of my fist. It was yeah. a really big ball of mozzarella. They were like, it's packed with protein. I was like, I can only imagine. <laughs> You're like, I know. I can only imagine. Yeah. I also know what it's going to do to my stomach. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with the grilled chicken. Yeah, thank you. Option. Be a little lighter so I can run up a and down the court. Lighter. Yeah, Yeah. post game, I would have thought about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. They didn't give it to you post game? That's shitty. No, post game was like more like just like a quick meal because it was like late. Yeah. They tried to get you like. Got you. In and out. Yeah, get out. Yeah. All right. Well, tell me about the WNBA because we were talking earlier. You were like, it's the best league. They put in the more league. stuff into it this year, right? So. Where. So we're in the W. We're we've always been like a league that's like always just tried to pay it forward for like the next generation. And like for so long, a lot of us have been playing for like the passion of the game. Yeah. On like a teacher's salary, like my rookie salary was forty one thousand dollars before taxes. That's crazy playing professional basketball. That's professional wild. basketball before taxes, I was making forty one thousand dollars. And you could also at the time put eighteen thousand dollars into your four hundred one k. Yeah. And so, they would match it like a certain amount. Right. So like as like the young, like I'm gonna have like a really good career. I'm gonna invest in like whatever. I was putting in eighteen thousand dollars. So really, after taxes in my four hundred one k, I was in the teens. Yeah. Like I wasn't oh my doing God. too hot. Yeah. You're literally almost paying to play. That's like exactly. that was like minor league baseball. Yeah. It was like exactly. Yeah. That's brutal. Yeah. But like the grind that you go through, you like learn so much about yourself. Yeah. You like understand like what you can push your body through. You're also like hella resourceful, right? I bet. Yeah. When you don't have it, you like find a way to make things work. Yeah. And like, honestly, it's not like the picture perfect. Like I'm not sitting here saying like. Yeah, it sucks for the NBA guys. They make millions of dollars. That must be really hard. Yeah. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> but I am saying that it is a really cool way to like go about like life, to like try to push your body to the maximum yeah. that you can ever push your body and like just make make it resourceful. Absolutely. Use tires, use water jugs, like whatever that looks like at that point in time is yeah. like what you had to do to get it done. Yeah. Oh, I get it. So We've come a long way. Rookies are now making a lot more money. And by a lot more, I think we're in the 60s now for them. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. So we have um, – we, we've come a long way. The CBA is changing. We're making a lot of good moves. Yeah. We also have, like, two future expansion teams yeah, so already that. set in yep. place, which is yep. really great. Like, yeah. a lot of the times nowadays you have people getting cut just because the dollar amount doesn't fit. It's I not know. because like maybe you're not good enough. Yeah. It was just like we can't afford yeah. your salary within our salary cap structure. It's it blows my mind how a girl would get drafted even in the first round or a second round and then be cut be like done. before she plays the season. I'm like, wait, how do you what how? How do you draft somebody and then cut them? Like Exactly. That year. It, and it's also like if you make it through training camp and like you're on the team, you yeah. get your jersey. Yeah, yeah. If day one do or one they just decide whatever. Right. They like. I saw it. I've, I've seen it happen with so many LSU girls. Like, like it, bl it blows my mind how that how quick that happens. You're so, in and out. Yeah. Because unless you're in, there's six players that can have a guaranteed contract. If if you aren't one of those six, you can get dropped at any given point of the season up until like All Star break. I think is like roughly the time where everybody's guaranteed to finish out the season. Yeah. But that's like three fourths of the way through the season. My God. So there's like a lot that goes into it, but right now we're at a point where like, we're really growing. Like the rookies that come in this season have been doing a really great job of like handling, because rookie year for everybody. Yeah. Baseball, football, basketball, whatever sport you play, your rookie year is challenging, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But these rookies also with the added pressure of like outsiders and like riding off of what was the NCAA tournament for them and like right, right. what their season was, They've hit historical records. Yeah. Depending, no matter what team you're on. Yeah. But especially here at LSU, we have great NIL stuff. Yeah. Obviously, Caitlin Clark doing her thing. You have Cameron Brink doing her thing. You have the South Carolina doing their thing. Like, women's basketball was hot. And also, they're riding on that right now. So, right now in the league, you have rookies that are contributing big minutes. Yeah. 
and also having to be like a human being. At the end of the day, we're all human beings, right? Oh yeah. And the um, amount of pressure that are on these kids to like do well, and also like the whole sport is riding on the league right now, and specifically like the rookies that are like really bringing notoriety. Like everyone that's been in the league or been around the league and been a fan of the league for however long the league's been in existence knows that the level of competition is the best in the world. Yeah. But it takes like one or two or three people to come in and bring outside viewers for people to understand how good the league is. You have like, you have your learning curve, but then you have these kids that are coming in. Everyone's like, Kaylin Clark's gonna like change the world, right? I think she will. I think she will be a really great player. But there's that learning curve of what the yeah you see it instead yeah. of having like two kids from Iowa trapping you and you're like oh look at this cute little trap you have like six five and six three exactly it's a lot different now throwing yeah. a trap Physi- at you yeah it's a lot different physicality everything right and like yeah. the way the game goes and like just like you know the older we get the more the less we use our bodies and the more we use our brains like you become vet smart and you yeah. learn all these like vet tricks and stuff like that these little things come in at, with time but yeah. from one to twelve this league this year is like the most competitive league in a really long time. It's going to be a really great race to the playoffs and a race to the championship. Yeah. And like anybody that likes really good basketball, tune in because this is going to be a really great season. And then next year, you know, with the expansion team coming in, it's going to be, it's going to be opportunity because you know, we have people getting cut Yeah. that shouldn't be getting cut. Right. So this is going to open up 24 new spots. That's awesome. Because statistically, 144 people yeah. are on the – well, not even because you have to keep 11. You have to have 11, but you can carry 12. Okay. Depending on if your salary cap allows. So this is going to be really good for the league and also really good for just like outside talent coming in because when you don't play in the W, a lot of people – most people yeah, go, just go overseas. overseas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whether you're – Diana Tarazi played years and years and years overseas. Yeah. And we're getting now into an age where like social media is taken over and people like are branding themselves. And so you don't have to, you know, find your salary overseas. You can right, do right. a lot That's to. That's good. Yeah. To, to set it, offset it and make exactly. some money here and be able to create your own brand and, and live off that. Yeah. Exactly. And That's we cool. also have AU Athletes Unlimited League. That's like a yeah. player ran league. They have softball, lacrosse, yep. volleyball, basketball. Yep. That's an opportunity here in the States. Brianna Stewart and Nafisa Call are just open up a new league that's going to be in Miami. Like, there's Damn, a lot of opportunity really? now happening that's here cool. in the US for women's sports. And, like, it's just going to take off. Like, this is the age for women. Women are, like, really cool. Yeah. And we're finally getting. <laughs> women are really cool. I don't know. I like women too. So PSA. that's great. Yeah, there you that's go. Good. I do. I'm a big fan. Big yeah. women's fan right here. Yeah, I am. Yep. There you go. Feminist. <laughs> 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 so, right now is the time for just Tune. the league to take off. Yeah, it's no, it be, seems like it is. It's yeah. going to catch fire. I think it's already caught fire, too. I mean, I've been a fan of, like, in uh, – I came from Jersey, so, like, basketball is huge by me. Yeah. I grew up my whole life playing basketball. When I got down here, um, women's basketball was really good. And, like, yeah. so I enjoyed – and men's was not very good. So, yeah. like, I was, like – I was actually going to more women's games. Right. And then it kind of turned for a little while. You know, we had the Ben Simmons era, and, like, the, there was a lot of attention yeah. around the men's teams and stuff. Um, and then, you know, so I've been waiting for women's basketball to be better in Baton Rouge, but then you're kind of seeing it on the national scale and some of these players coming from college that are making that big splash in the WNBA. So, um, I'm here for it. I think it's only going to continue to grow and develop. People are going to start putting more money behind it like they should. So you guys can start getting paid better, um, start getting the views that you guys deserve and everything. So I'm happy that it's starting to get noticed. And you know, I'm again, I joked about gambling before, but I'm a big sports gambler. And I think that even that's going to kind of like help you guys, you know, just bring in more money and stuff like that. Again, more eyes, more attention, all that kind of stuff. So, um, I hope it continues to grow and, and things and, and, you guys keep getting opportunities. To your gambling point, I was recently talking to this guy. He like loves the sports bet. He is a big, like he he does NFL, but he's like, if you really want to make money, you need to bet on women's basketball and baseball. He was like, those are your top two. That's what we do. Money getters. That's and I was what we like, do. No way, women's sport. He was like, I love the W. Yeah. I was like. Have you been to a game? He's like, no, no, <laughs> no. I but make I money on the sports book. Like, yeah. Exactly. He's like, I love the W. And yeah. I was like, 
he, he, he told me all the players. Like, he knows players, I guess, through betting like you. Oh, you learned very quick. Yes. The apps don't let me on. I don't know how you got on. <laughs> One time they actually did tell me, they sent me, they said, uh, DraftKings does not allow professional baseball players on the app. And then I just, t I wasn't playing at the time, so I was done. So I screenshotted and sent it to my, I had like a VIP host because I gamble a lot. So I was like, dude, what's going on here? He's like, oh, I'll get it fixed for you. So yeah. but I, I don't play. So I, I mean, I'm done. So I, 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 I can gamble. I got banned. I think it was you're still playing. Games. You're still playing. But you I'm can like, bet on other sports. Yeah. I can bet on other sports. Yeah, but at know. the same time, I'm like, no one ever had respect for the WNBA, but now I can't get into the app because I'm in the WNBA. Yeah. I'm like, y'all are crazy. <laughs> yeah, now you want to leverage this against me? I'm like, what? I wasn't yeah. cool enough to do anything else, but now I can't even get into your app. Yeah, this is bullshit. wild. Yeah. No, they tried to play that game with me once, and I, I was like, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm retired. I haven't thrown a baseball in a long time right. in the major leagues. I'm allowed to gamble. But what am I going to do? Like call up just because I play in the W I'm yeah. going to like be like yo yeah. well some people do some people are people are getting in trouble for that shit I would never do that to my friends baseball friend. guys yeah baseball guys are but they're stupid ass they're dumb asses they're fucking betting on like their team while they're on the team I'm like yeah. bro dude you like what is wrong like why would you ever there was a basketball player that got in trouble too yeah uh, recently yeah Porter's brother Michael Porter Jr's brother he Deon, might whatever. be yeah he might Jonte be getting that lifetime yeah band. I think he did I think Yikes. he already got it there was another NBA player too but yeah, no. But that's just dumb. Like I don't understand that. Like hot I don't take. Yeah. Hot take. What? If you are sports betting for your team to win, yeah. Do you think that should be allowed? I still don't think so because you have inside information that maybe the public or the sports books don't have. So I, I think it's better than betting against your team and then playing and like being like, well, does that person tank? You know, tanking to make sure they win bets. But. I, I think it's better, but I don't think you should be able to bet on your team or your sport while you're playing. I could see why you should, because as an athlete, I go into every game trying to win. Yeah. So if I put a hundred dollars on the fact that I'm going to win, maybe I'm like at odds in your eyes. Yeah. But like, I know that as an underdog, we could kick their ass. And if you don't respect me as an outsider, then why shouldn't I be able to like bet on us now against us? That's problematic. Yeah. 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 But I didn't even think about it from that perspective. It might give you a little actual like ed edge to play harder too, yeah. to be like, I got money on myself. Like actually not just my salary, but like I actually boxers can do it. That dude, Ryan Garcia bet fucking a million dollars on himself no in the way. fight. Yeah. And then he fucking made $8 million on himself. Cause he was the underdog. So I'm like, why can't that? That actually makes sense. You're right. Wow. I mean, fuck. I mean, you do go take the court thinking you're going to win every game most of the time, right? Sometimes you just be like, hey, they're better than us, but we still have a chance. We're going to try this approach. We're going to do this, right? So like, why not? One time I was playing in Turkey, and <laughs> yeah. you got a bonus for beating like the top two teams, Galatasaray uh -huh. and Fenerbahce. Yeah. And we're beating Gala with four minutes left in the fourth quarter by like 16 points. Wow. And all of our Americans are still in, all of our like vets are in. And then all of a sudden he like hockey subs all of us. And we're like, what? Yeah. We're about to get this bonus. Like, <laughs> we're about to get $3,000 just for this one game. Like yeah. this is like, yeah. come on, why are you pulling us out? All of a sudden, like we see that 16 point, like, cause four minutes is a lot of time in pro yeah, sports, yeah. especially <clears throat> so, like you just seem to like dwindle, dwindle. And like 16 turned to 10. 10 turned to eight, eight turned to three, and you're like, <laughs> that happened hey, yeah. I'm fresh. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's, I'm ready. Let's roll. We lose. Hmm. So we go in the locker room, we're like, he doesn't look upset at all. <laughs> we're like, planned, yeah. But he looks like frustrated at us. Like, like why'd you guys so, play that guy? Right. So we were like, what? So like, he comes in the locker room, he was like, yeah, like, good job. And we we're like, what happened? <laughs> he was like, nothing, nothing. And I was like, no, like what, like some of the other Americans, I was a rookie at the time. So the yeah. other Americans were like, no, like you subbed us all out. Why? We should, we should have won the game. Yeah. He was like, no, no, like it was nothing. Like we need to rest, like making up all these lies. Come to find out he bet against us. Holy shit. Oh my God. You got, you got in trouble. I'm assuming. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, there's a sports betting overseas is way, if you can imagine, way more intense oh my than God. it is here. Jesus, that's wild. Cause it's like, I don't even think it's legal. I think it's kind of like underground under stuff, but like. He found out that he was like, hey guys, we're definitely not yeah. gonna win this game. And then Our he was GM like, him out. oh shit, they're really uh, gonna win this game. I gotta take them out. Holy also shit. like, let us know. Yeah. Like to be like, we're not gonna win this game. 
And also don't play us like 36 minutes and then pull us the last (laughs) four. Like if we're not going to win, then let the young kids play the whole time. Yeah, that's Bush. I was like, if we're going to rest, rest us. That's a wild ass story. So we lost. Holy shit. Because he was sports betting. (laughs) And I'm like, also let us know. We would have given you like... Couple bucks here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you could just throw give us some money. Yeah, exactly. Give a little percentage. Everything. Everybody could have won. We could have all We could have all ate. We could have all ate. We could have yeah. all lost and won. Yeah, exactly. Damn. And against the best team, you were like, we could have made this look easy. This could have been a lot smoother right, than this us. A blowout. Yeah, like, exactly. how many points yeah, do you need to exactly, be? Like, yeah. we could be like, we could play the what's the um, the money line? Yeah. That's when you have to like hit winner loss. Winner or loss spread is the the spread. The spread. We yeah, could yeah. play the spread. Yeah. See, I need to get on my. Control. I'm not retired yet, so like. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not yet. I don't, have to, I don't want to jeopardize. See, that's, that's why I'm like, I don't. Plans. Yeah, future plans. That's what I'm we'll add it to our away, list after away. you're done playing when you officially retire. Cool. It's good. Yep. Wow. Yep. Can somebody get this list going? It's going to be hard to remember. Yeah. I didn't bring my tablet. Good thing is we're recording the episode, so we can always look. Oh, yeah, we can always yeah. go back and look. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Great. Yeah. Are we, run, we probably are running out of time, though, huh? We're getting a little. Okay. Um, Before we go, though, I do want to talk um, a little bit about your show, you and Sid. You mentioned Sid earlier, so talk to me about that. So, like, I met Sid for the first time in training camp of the 2022 season. I never met her before, like, but being the lead for a decade, you, like, hear about, like, who's funny and who's not. Yeah. But, like, as a (laughs) 2010 class clown, um, humbly... From like you were voted camp. that in your yeah. I was voted that in a by my somewhere. peers. Wow, <laughs> peer mm-hmm. <laughs> peer voted. It's legit. Uh, for my senior superlative, I was voted. You didn't class slip class. anything to anybody. No money no, to be like yo. Just no make sure I get it. Yeah, okay. straight up. Okay, we'll see. Straight up, I earned that. I'll ask. I'll ask around. And I earned it in two years. I transferred my junior year into that school, wow, so it took me quick. two years to get that title. Yeah. My mom wasn't very proud, but like I was. <laughs> <laughs> so like as a class clown like you hear about like other funny people but like you're like i wonder like how like the scale of funny right yeah, yeah. so then yeah i heard sid was funny so i was like okay cool like i didn't this was a new team for me i've only i haven't played with anybody but i played like against yeah. them yeah, yeah. but played like usa with one or two of them yeah like, i don't really have friends on this team like i guess we'll just see what, what happens cool Hit it off with Sid immediately. She's hilarious. And I'm like, she is funny. Like, this is good. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a long season for our teammates because we're like the same kind of like humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like very childlike and just fun. Yeah. So throughout the season, Sid was like, do you think you could do TV? And I was like, no, Sid. Like my humor is for locker room only. Like I don't bring <laughs> this outside of that. Like yeah. this is our space, blah, yeah. blah, blah. She's like, you could do TV. The whole season, just like dropping the TV, dropping the TV. I'm like, no, no, absolutely not, no. And she was like, we have a TV show. If you want it, do it. And I was like, no way. And she was like, no, like for real. And I was like, really? <laughs> she was like, come on, just do it. It's like a TV show. And in my head, I'm like, I didn't even know it was a TV show. She was like, hop on the Zoom call. We're going to be doing something for the Instagram page called Together. Okay. Right? Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, TikToks, Reels. Right what have you, social stuff. Yeah, yeah. So they're like, yeah, so you have uh, this, this thing and we're gonna, we're gonna give you 10 episodes. And I was like, episodes. (laughs) This is like like a network? Like who's, what's the network? It was on Maximum Effort Channel with Ryan Reynolds' company. Nice, yeah, Um, yeah, yeah. I remember you talking about it. So we're on this thing and I'm still like in my head like what, what kind of episodes come with like a TikTok? Like I thought we were about to like hit some dances. Like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, question, huh? How many like minutes are these episodes? They're like standard thirty, and I was like, standard thirty minutes. <laughs> I was like, well, like what happens? And they were like, all right, so we're gonna have the intro. We're gonna have a short skit. We're gonna have the meet, commercial break, meet, commercial break, exit. And I was like, commercial break. Why do we have commercials? And they were like. It's a TV show. And I was like, no way. <laughs> you started like, oh, it's like, like a real TV. Real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on TV, TV. So then I was like extra nervous. I was like, no way. I can't be on TV. Like, <sighs> okay. So then I finally agreed to it. We're like doing it. I'm like so nervous because I've never done anything. I was Mary in my second grade play. Outside of that. And then Mary, like the mother Mary? Like, I like was Virgin her. Virgin Mary? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I was her. In second grade? In second grade. And wow. they don't just hand that to anybody. You earned it. I earned it. Wow. Like, I could have been a sheep. Yeah. I could have been. you were Mary. I was you were Mary. Holding, you were holding the baby. I was holding baby Jesus. 
as plastic as he was, yeah, but that was my it's guy. A big responsibility. I know yeah. they don't just hand that title to anybody. Oh, that's wow. That's a big resume piece. A huge resume yeah, yeah, builder. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's that probably got me. That, I was just gonna say. I mean, role. that's why you got the Zoom call and like, yeah. They probably heard. Yeah, because that was I'd filmed imagine, as well. I'd imagine on VHS. <laughs> they probably went back and found it. Yeah. Found that. Yeah. You know what VHS so, is? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's I'm a real kidding, question. I'm kidding. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> She doesn't Videotape. The <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought the quiet was like, duh, she knew it, but the quiet was. Me too, was... yeah, it was like, no. Okay. You, she'll never understand what it's like when your sibling. You know what a VHS is. When you Google it, you'll see. They, they don't rewind it? Don't rewind. I'm like, I'm in the credits right now, you selfish jerk. Yeah. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, you just didn't know it was called a VHS. Yeah, yeah. So Videotape, I... right? Or whatever, yeah. So, yeah, we'll get you your very own. <laughs> Do you know what your own VCR? Blockbuster. Okay. Blockbuster. There you go. So you pop it in. That's a good term. Like you're good. You're good. Yeah, she knows. It's Check legit. that one off the nostalgia legit. list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the show, like my first day, I was like so nervous. Sydney takes like acting classes and has done it like before. She like wanted a career in this. Like this oh, is like awesome. her dream. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like. I'm just like, I'll try my yeah, best. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like going out there. It was the best time of my life, like filming the crew that we had, like the people that were around us. Like we want to do like kind of like a Robin big type of thing yeah. and like, just like shoot the shit with your best friend and like have fun with it yeah. and like tailor it to basketball without like having basketball. Cause at the end of the day, it's like the first of its kind. It was a, uh, a sketch comedy. Yeah that we had like really cool guest stars flage came on for That's us them, and we had yeah. cheryl swoops and like wow. er fight master we had like really cool people like supporting us visibly on our show That's and cool. to be able to like tap into that realm yeah. like the tv space and like acting and like understanding angles and like just like presenting differently on tv versus yeah. like what we're like in real yeah, yeah. life it was a huge learning curve for me, but it was so much fun. But the best part about it was just like, we got to be ourselves and like have a really good time. And someone was just like videotaping us. That's cool. I felt like the Kardashians a little bit. <laughs> with a like lot these are more. real cameras? Like they're just filming? Right. Yeah. I'm just like, I wanted to go in the diary room. Like today I had like a salad <laughs> and then uh, I had a little water. <laughs> but like I really wanted to have my own diary room. That never happened. Season two though, hopefully fingers you're crossed. Putting, on yeah, that. you're putting the word. Yeah. Um and hopefully maybe you'll see Sid and I in the podcast space. We gotta get you on. Yeah, I would love to. That'd be awesome. So I don't know, we wanna we wanna do something and I'll bring my Game Boy. It'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got You know, it. Sid's like kinda yeah. lame with that. She Really? Oh, like, she doesn't like Game Boy, huh? What a loser. It's like one of the worst things about her. Wow, okay. Well, I'm hopefully she'll make me laugh. So that no, be she, might. I'm sure. she might. Yeah, I'm sure she's she got me a few times. Yeah, that's good. I had that's this good. like really like eye opening moment where like we're filming the show and she said something in the show. It's kind of hard to like be yourself on camera too when they're like be yourself and right. you're, like Fine. but do this and do this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, would I do this? Like, but Sid like really made me laugh, and I was like, Sid, you are kind of funny. And she was like, I, was, <laughs> I hope so. You made like a whole TV show with me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude. You're like true. Yeah. So that's awesome. That What's was, it called? It's called the Sid and TP show. It's on YouTube. Nice. Um, it, it was like the best time of my life. We also got some really great feedback and we're pushing for a season two. We're like looking for funding right now. We got some nice. big names wanting to go. like tap in. So it'll be really cool. It'll Very really nice. Cool. Yeah. So we'll fingers to, crossed on season two. Yeah. We'll put it in the show notes for everybody to go watch and everything. Check That's us really out. Cool. That'd yeah. be amazing. That's awesome. This was so much fun, you guys. This was awesome. I feel like we could have done, I mean, we did. We sat here for an hour. and Like, my podcast is usually like 30 minutes, like 30, 45 minutes. Well, what kind of guests are you bringing on? That's what I'm saying. I know. I need more like you.